Lol pups. <laughs> oh, guys, listen. Can we just all take a moment to um, appreciate that Puppy is having to moderate on his own today? Mm. He's in a Discord room right now, all on his own. Nobody to talk to. He's got the helm. He is the only moderator in chat on this Saturday morning. Well, I, I think you should behave, but I think you also need to keep him company. You know, he's going to be on his own. Uh, Club Villain, thank you for three years. Happy anniversary. Heyman, thanks for 86 months. We're doomed. Yeah, that was my thought. Right, new game. This will create new game. I've never played it. Literally just started to make sure it worked. Has anybody played this before? <laughs> yes. Okay. You start with a small store and grow to an awesome supermarket. Start by purchasing goods, sell and place them on the shelves. Don't forget to set the prices with a profit to good avoid morning, bankruptcy. Good morning, Paul and chat. Carry on's loyalty is as bad as mine, Sclerosa. Good grief. Supermarket sim. <laughs> Chris, you should know you can get a sim for absolutely everything. There's even a paint drying simulator. There is nothing which has not been simulated. <laughs> anyway, this one's supposed to be all right. Where are we anyway? This looks like New York or something. How big's the map, by the way? Dry cleaning, lawn shirts, 10% off. Uninterruptible power supply. I can hear a diesel. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Dude! Since when did cars push you in games like this? That's abuse, that is. It's too clean to be New York. Literally, everybody's got a diesel. Hang on. Is that a Swiss flag or something? Dude. Fresh. There's nothing fresh about your exhaust pipe. Oh, hello. You going to a dinner party, Mr. Bond? Hmm. Some very well-dressed people around here. Look at this. Do not enter. What? <laughs> what? Why is there a pedestrian crossing here with a do not enter sign? Did somebody mess that up or what? Is that a joke? There's a ladder. Can you climb up ladders? Ooh, ooh. You can. Oh, hang on. Oh, you can't jump off the top of the ladder. Hang on. Oh, nearly. Hot and cold sandwiches, beer, soda, cigarettes, and ice cream. Wait, they sell milk cigarettes, look. Milk cigarettes. I've never had a milk cigarette. I don't... I, genuinely, what is that? Do not enter. I just... Oh, nice. I wonder if that changes. Right, I suppose we've got to go to the shop. I'm probably... A, Am I losing money? It's still 8 a.m. The, the clock's not moved yet. Was I here? I forgot where I was now. Oh, here I am, I think. Storage. Is this mine? Can I can I rent that? Uh, NGN, thank you for 79 months. He's looking for a serial killer. Uh huh. Fox Commander, 11 months. All right, what do we need to do? Order goods using your computer. I've got $50, guys. $50. Interact, carry. Okay. Management, bank. Locked. Take a loan. We like loans. Hang on, how do you get... Market. Here we go. Cereal. You can store boxes and storage. Okay. It's JME. Thank you, 25 months. Flour, sliced bread. I mean, everybody needs sliced bread, don't they? 
total 1188. That's for a box of 12. Take it. Does the bread go off at the end of the day? All right, $12 for one of them. And I reckon cereal. Jeez, hang on, I can't even afford these two. Pasta. I have to sell pasta. The dev hasn't added expiration dates yet. Okay. Sugar powdered. What does that mean? Six dollars for flour. Okay, I think we'll just go with that. That's half the money. No loan needed. Never need one in this game when you don't play others. But they want to buy every license. Fair enough. I don't know why sugar is twice the price of flour. How do we buy that? Here we go. Purchase. Pick up the box has just arrived. Jeez, that was quick delivery. What's management? Ooh. Okay, let's get out of here. Where's the boxes? G to throw, R to... No, hang on. G to drop, R to throw. Place. And then throw the empty box into the... Right. Okay. And then we've got to set the prices, presumably. No, I didn't want to do that. How do we get that back? There we go. Alright. We got this. We got this. Set the price of the product. So, how much do we buy it for? Can't remove the label when there's a product. Average cost 79 prints, profit zero. Market price 371. What, they're selling it for 371? Okay, we'll sell it for 369. That gives us a profit of 290. How's that sound? Uh. Average right, two ninety nine sounds good. Two dollar profit on that one. And then I reckon three seventy nine. Okay. Well I think the idea is new mark that you don't start with a supermarket, you start with a small shop. Go twenty P over market value, they'll buy it. Eh, well we'll try that. Right, let's open the store. We're open. Come on, get in there. Buy some flour. Flour. Buy some flour. I command you to buy flour. No, that's pasta. Oh, jeez. What do we do with this? How does this work? Okay. Take the payment from the customer. What did he give us? He gave me $100? Are you... Dude. <laughs> hundred dollars <laughs> who buys a bag of pasta with a hundred dollars <laughs> like how do I give it to him uh do I just approve space there we go oh my god oh that's better card I don't mind the card 10.57 let's go Or she she give me cash. 332. Like a flower. Why do they keep handing me like bundles of notes? So dodgy. Might run out of stock, I don't know. Hey look, we've almost got back to fifty dollars. That's impressive. Perform 25 checkouts. I don't think we'll be able to. I think we need to order some more stock. 2.99. Let's go. What happens if you overcharge them? What do they do? Chippy, thank you for one and a half years. Munro, thank you for 86 months. You can't? Interesting. Interesting. 
They like Barclay card, don't they? Do you know what? I think I'm going to change my pricing strategy. I'm going to make it like nice round numbers. 370. Because I reckon we'll be giving less pointless change that way. 3.8. There we go. I don't have to give one cent left, right, and center. The numpad works for the car machine. Oh, does it? Oh, hang on. I'll have to try that. Barker card, sir? Yes, please. Six point... No, numpad. 6.7. Go. Nice! Barker card, sir? Yes, please. I'm liking that. I like the numpad thing. That makes it quicker. I need to order some more goods. What do they have there? Pasta. Market. Get three lots of pasta now. Uh, let's get an extra flour. Cereal's not selling very well. We've got $71. Let's get some sugar. Everybody likes sugar. That, 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 that. Oh, no, I can't afford it. Hang on. Okay, okay, okay. Be with you in a sec. Got it. Of course you want cash. Giving zero dollars. Exact change? Insufficient change. Oh, 12.50. Oh, my life. There's too many items here. I don't like the way I have to run outside to do the bin thing all the time. What's that price done? 370. Okay, that's fine. 7.5. I like it when they pay by card. Makes my life a lot easier. This is flour, isn't it? Display's full. It's not. But okay. Get the pasta back on the shelf. You don't need to ring the bell. I know you're there, love. A panic. Okay, what do you want? Loads of stuff. 11 20 $1. At least say you don't have to pay card fees, that's true. Uh, I want that go there, there we go. It's a little bit fiddly that. Put that in there. What have they got here? More of these. I think we're just gonna sell a lot of sugar. They've got a sweet tooth in this town. Is that it? One bag of flour? Okay, what are we missing off there? What was here? We've got pasta. Was it cereal? Average cost 396. I'll do 390. <gasps> I've set the price of sugar. Average price $4.80. There we go. They almost got sugar for free then. <laughs> Eight point nine. What was it that was there? I'm definitely missing something. It's definitely cereal, isn't it? You're missing cereal. How much have we got? Seventy-one dollars. Ain't going enough for that. I need some lights in my shop. Uh, one, two, three, ten, go. I love the way you get instant deliveries, though. I, I need to put the light on in here. Right, six dollars. That's what we're charging you. Where's the light? Uh, 20 cents. Go. 
Aim by a card, I like you already. Bit of sugar, mate. Watch the diabetes, pal. Got to do three more checkouts. Zamba, thank you for three months. But you can give them, you can give them too much change. I figured. So you can't overcharge them, but you can give them too much money back. Liverpool, thank you for seventeen months. Come on, we're still open. You sir, do you want some sugar? Step this way. He's got the sugar. Let's go. <laughs> I think you overpriced the cereal. Nah, I didn't. The cereal is five ninety eight. I charge six dollars. It's fine. They'll buy it. Don't worry. I'm running out of that bread. I need, to, I need to order some more bread. Oh, I like this guy. He bought like four bags of pasta. Look at this. Big spender. They steal. Do they really? As long as you can beat them up, I don't mind. Closed after 9pm. What? What time is it? Oh, it's 9pm. Well, we have to close now. Purchase one. Oh, I'm going to close. Purchase a product license using the computer. I spent all my money on stock. I can't afford a license. Two hundred dollars. I don't want to have two hundred dollars. <laughs> Bills growth. Oh my god, hiring. You can hire a cashier, daily wage, $80. Complete checkout, 25 of 200. What does that mean? Acquired store level 10. Storage is locked, $800. Customization coming soon. I, I could get a loan. I don't feel like I want to. How do we skip time? Enter. I'd rather reserve the loan in case we go bankrupt. Income, supply cost, profit, $18. <laughs> Wait, so if I want to pay myself a salary, I can pay myself $18 for the day. God, this is a lucrative business. You receive daily bills starting today. Oh my God. Make sure you pay the bills using your computer before their due date or they'll be paid automatically. The more... The more electrical devices, the more expensive the bills. Cool. So there goes the $18 profit. Right, can I order some more bread then? Let's order two. Wait, where did all that stuff come from? We're doing a set, love. Just stacking shelves. Lots of bread. We have lots of bread. You ordered four. Oh, well. We'll sell it. It's fine. 760. More bread. <laughs> I'm glad it doesn't go off. <laughs> hey, look. We've got more bread. <laughs> oh, let's go there. Would you like some bread, sir? We're doing a special offer on bread today. No? Okay. Hmm. Need some more pasta. How much is pasta? Three of them cost. Yikes. I can't afford this. Okay, I need to sell some bread. I I've invested in bread too much, I think. I think she's buying some, though. No, she's not. Nobody wants the bread. Oh, you... Come on! We're paying $96.30. Like, I should just refuse to sell us, though. No. 
No, products don't currently expire as far as I'm aware. Right, two of them. Faster. A chase. Do they get bored and leave if you don't serve them quickly enough? I see, sir. You like your cereal, sir. Uh, it was. I, I tell you what, I resent people coming in just blatantly getting change out of the $100 bill. I like the way they walk in. They walk to the front door, then turn 90 degrees. I get the feeling the game is deliberately not buying bread because I've got too much of it. I kind of did. I kind of did round the prices up, if I'm honest. Mr. Burt Black, you legend, sir. How are you? Thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, guys. Mr. Burke, salute you. Hope you're well, mate. Hope you had a great stream. Thank you very much for the raid. Can we give them a nutty welcome, guys? I just started... Oh, they bought some bread. I've just started playing this for the first time. No idea what I'm doing. But I'm selling... I've got too much bread. I know that much. <laughs> Mods, uh, sorry, not mods, pups. <laughs> Specifically pups. Can we get a shout out for Burt Black, please? 40 cents. All right. No, you need another four dollars. I'm sure you guys know who Burke is. Two dollars. Uh, 40 cents. What was Burke playing today? What exclusive game was he playing? Smed, thank you for 89 months. Oh, Burke. Happy Easter, my friend. <laughs> I've still got half an egg here. You, you can have a bite if you want to. <laughs> oh, it's all right. Played Warner. What's Warner? I have not heard of Warner. Some World War Three game called Warner. Never heard of that. Uh, it was a Freddo egg. I've eaten the Freddos. One dollar and fifty. Uh, what's missing from there? Is that sugar? Oh, is that why you can turn your lights on and off? So you can save electric. Hang on. Management. Bills. We haven't, we haven't been issued a bill yet. Interesting, though. We've, we're starting to make a bit of money. We need to buy some more sugar and some more cereal. Uh, sugar, we can get a couple of. Cereal. That is expensive cereal. Blimey. Just one of them. And oil. I'm not selling any oil yet. Buy all that. Cash. Dude! I think I gave him too much then. Uh, 20 cents. What have we got? Oil. There we go. Need to set the price of the oil. Uh, average 450. We'll do the average.
street dollars. Get this stuff off the street before somebody nicks it. Uh oh, got a problem here. Um, I'll have to put it down there. Can I move that? The box doesn't match the size. Give me a break. So I can't move that red because I don't have the right box. Oh, this is a problem. This is a problem. Let me put that there for now. I can't move the bread. I don't know how I'll move it. Oh, d seriously? $100 bills, just go away. Yeah, I don't know how we pick it up. I'm not leaving this outside. Oh, that's too much sugar. Way too much sugar. Right, we're gonna, we're gonna have to close the shop. Turn the light off. We'll work in the dark for now. Bills. Okay. I, I don't have any bill. It said I would have a bill at the end of the day. Hundred and ninety two income, supply cost hundred and seventy two, profit seventeen dollars, balance eighty six. I'm not making much money, am I? You don't have to close after nine. Interesting. Market prices have changed for the following. Sugar. I think the price went up. Average now six twenty six. Blimey. Wait, so I bought all this sugar at a lower price? Nice. I think I need to adjust the price of bread. It's not moving. We'll make it 3.8. If you can shift it. You, sir, would you like to buy some bread? You like a man who needs some protein? No, you just want cereal. Is that your favourite? <laughs> I literally bought some choco circles. It does look like Trevor from GTA, yeah. I can't believe nobody's buying bread. I don't get it. And I'm going to have to drop the price again. Oh, she's... No. No. Nobody's buying bread. The game's trolling me. Whoa, I like you. And you pay by card. I really like you. 27 point. There we go. What are we out of down there? Pasta, oil, cereal. What was here? Is that flour? Might need another box of flour. I need to save up though, don't I? I need storage space. Can you buy more shelves? Or do you just need a bigger store? Set your price 50 cents above market value. Hey, well done, sir. He bought the single bread, which I couldn't move because I didn't have the right box. I like you already. Unlike this woman, $38. Awesome. Exact change as well. That's amazing. Right, what do we need? Pasta. Don't need bread. A couple of boxes of pasta should do it. Two of them. What else do we need? Some more cereal. Wait, what have we got down here? We've got cereal. Pasta. Have one more bread. I need flour. T 
Ten cents change, blimey. Annoyingly, they're all paying with cash. Did I order more bread? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Just call me Warburton's. Is that all you want? Dude. Why even bother? Get all this. Pasta. I'm gonna put that there for now. How much have we got? 255. What was the first license we need? Wait, I've got bills. I must have a bill by now. There we go. Pay the bill. 263. That reminds me actually. Turn. Yeah, keep that off. Licenses. What's the best license to buy? Product license. Bottle of water, cheese. That's no good because I don't have enough shelf space for all that stuff. How do I get another shelf? Rent was due, I didn't see that. Hang on. What was rent? Bills. $20? That's eaten into the profit, that is. Best to upgrade your store first. Hmm. How do we upgrade the store exactly? Under storage. Oh, I like you. I really like you. Under furniture, right? Okay. I think we need some uh, cereal, don't we? We're about to run out of cereal. I don't think we can order it though. Oh no, it's not 9 p.m. yet. You might need fridges as well with the next license. Hmm. I want another shelf, really, and then we can buy another license to sell more products. You would say expand first. What, make the place bigger? Management storage is locked. So I can't get more storage. Um, what else can I get then? Management. What do you say it was? Growth. Expand this section. Expand by four by four meters. So I can make the store bigger by four by four meters. Where's the furniture? Uh, shelf cost 200.
What's this fancy check? Is that just a normal checkout? Checkout counter. 500. Checkout counter mirrored. Oh, okay. Random. So, look, you can keep your shop open, but nobody comes here after 9 o'clock. Nobody comes here. There's a dodgy person coming down the street. Yeah, I reckon we can get a shelf there, possibly. We can probably get a couple of shelves here, I reckon. Storage room's locked. But nobody comes in after nine. Weird. Hey, we actually made some profit that day. Look at that. 261 profit. Nice. Need some sugar and some oil. Sugar, we'll have two of them. Oil, we'll have two of them. Is it worth hiring a cashier? Or not yet? Not yet. It's beginning to feel like I need a storeroom, though. I reckon they're going to nick this stuff soon. People are going to walk in and just help themselves. I want to do the usual thing. I want, I want to have the till here so my back's like that. And then I can, like, see the room and put the shelves at the back, the till here... You know what I mean? So if they're going to nick things, then I might see them. You can move the till now. Interact. How? Carry, hold. Oh, wow. Rotate it. Ooh. Hang on, I need to move this. How do I move this? Just rearrange the place a bit. Oh, there's a store closed. What a scumbag. I was wondering why nobody was coming here. There we go. That's a bit better. Now I can watch you. You try and walk out of here, pal. I'll rip that boy bow tie off your face. Oh, I don't like you. The storage room is all cost eight hundred dollars. Yeah, that's quite pricey. I think I want a, a couple of shelves first on a new license. You think some product prices changed? I need to check the prices. I can see you getting nearer the door. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm watching you. Exact change kind of guy. Right, four dollars fifty. Four fifty. Six dollars, six dollars. Oh, that's gone up. Seven thirty. That's fine. 385. 380 will do. 390 will do. Okay, that's fine. Bitcoin only. Lol.
Thank you, sir. Find one bottle of oil. I think we need more flour. Oil is up there. See, in theory, I can remove them now because I've got the right size box. Yeah, we definitely need some flour. Thing is, if you don't pay the rent or the bills, it takes it anyway, doesn't it? So, like, do we even need to bother? I prefer them to just direct debit it anyway. shelf we'll have one mm. what's the first license bottle water cheese dark roast coffee eggs milk i reckon the cheese might need a freezer a fridge sorry we could also have this one for 400 rice salt pasta olive oil flour peanut butter that that won't require a fridge but it does require a high level store I reckon she nicked something. She looked well shifty. Loan payments you have to pay manually. For <laughs> what? Who pays a loan manually? Imagine that. Every month you have to pay your mortgage manually. If you don't, you get fined. Pasta's getting low. Have we got pasta down there? No. I have to grab some pasta. Eighteen thirty. Whoa, is that your twin brother? There's a lot of white shirted men coming into this shop right now. I wish you could get deeper shells. They don't hold enough. Cash is slowly building up.
Stock rotation. We're not doing stock rotation. <laughs> There's no expiry dates yet, but I bet you when they implement them, you'll have to do it. This might be the last shopper of the day. It's 9 p.m. No, they're still coming. No way, Jimbo. No way. That might be it. We've got $544. So we could, in theory, buy more furniture for 200 But it's pointless, really, unless you combine it with a license. And the one I want is 400 and we can't get it yet. It kind of forces you down this road, I guess. We could always just not stock some of this stuff. Or we get a fridge and put milk and cheese in it. And eggs. Milk, cheese, and eggs. Actually, how many shelves does a fridge have on it? $200 for that. 400 we could, we could do it, but we wouldn't quite have enough money for stock, so... I think we'll wait till we've got a little bit more cash. Total profit, 240 Don't like the way it starts to, the shop closed. People complain if you have a license but don't stock items on it. I've not seen anybody complain yet. That bread, I think, has been up the, what, third day now, I think? <laughs> thank you, 34 months, Jimbo. Squirrels and Nuts, thank you for 76. AMH, thank you for 38. Uh, Cryptics was 61. And R gigs are 28. I think that brings me up to date. Thank you, guys. Section two, three fifty dollars. Time to make croutons, yeah. I don't think you can run out of change. I think the change is more or less endless. One, two, three, four, five. We have six different types of stuff, and you can only buy six different types of stuff. So we can only stock everything that they can buy. I really want this storage room. It just bugs me having this stuff out here. Grey stays locked. What? I assumed that if you bought that storage room there, I assumed it went in there, but apparently not. What's the point of that then? Once you expand, it will open. <sighs> okay. 
prefer people pay with card. It's so much easier. Bread stock's coming down slightly. Just check the old prices. The, I take it prices go down as well. Sometimes. Nobody's buying the shelf, uh, the bread on the top shelf. <laughs> oh, he is. Hey, he can reach. Look, tall guy. He's bought a lot of bread and sugar. He's going to have a fun afternoon. What do we need? We could do a, well, I think sugar we're okay for, actually. Maybe some more cereal. Limey. We need some more oil as well. What becomes quite expensive? Almost charged him 198 quid. Mm, that flower's kind of laid out weird, isn't it? Got a bit of a rush on here. Blimey. So, if you can have people rob you, does that mean you can hire security guards? The texture on her hair is freaky. What is going on? You can't get robbed. I thought you could. Currently, customers don't steal. Right. I thought they did. It's a future update. Fair enough. 830 dollars. We're pretty close to an upgrade now, I think. So, what the options are, I make the place bigger... Or I'll leave it as it is and just get a couple of shelves in, or even a fridge and a shelf, probably. I feel like I need to make the room bigger. I'll buy the expansion. I don't want to buy a fridge yet. I want the space. Because the space isn't going to make us money. 
So to buy this, we're going to need a shelf and a fridge. Maybe even two shelves and a fridge. That's $200 for that. And then $200 for a fridge. And then another $200 for that. So at least $600. Because I kind of feel like we're going to need a cashier as well, because trying to restock everything as well is going to get mad. One, two. Take out a loan, yeah. Do you reckon I can get two shelves in here? Quite wide, I don't... Can I fit a shelf in there, do you think? And then a shelf there and a fridge there, maybe? Do that. This is way too big, this cashier thing. So I reckon we can get one shelf there, and then one shelf there, and then we won't have any space for a fridge. I think that's how it's going to roll. Can we put this? Can in fact put that there. Or even there. <laughs> Loans free money, is it? Mm-hmm. Right, what have we got in there? We've got a fridge and a shelf. I reckon we get two shelves. Closed after 9 p.m. Scumbag. Uh, sugar and chop has gone up. Oil's gone down. 370 on oil. Okay. Two shells. That's six hundred. Oh boy, that's cleaned us out. Self assembly. Some assembly required. Can they still get at that, do you think? That's a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Hmm. Okay. In that case... There's two types of fridges, really. Oh, there's a double one. Okay, we'll have to go with that for now. Stop, get it open and start making money. Come on, in here, buy something. No, that way, that way. Okay. You, sir, atomic man. You, you look like you're in need of some coffee or bread or... Okay. 
Wait, how did they get in there? Oh my god. Buy $7.20 worth of stuff and gives me a $100 bill. Just go away. Taking money back. You can take money back from right clicking on the bills in cash register. Interesting. Didn't know you could do that. See, I like her. She used exact change. Right, 244. No point buying a license because I can't afford to buy stock. Don't even think about walking towards that door without paying. I'm watching you. Pasta and sugar, I think. Are there different game modes and difficulties? I don't believe so at the moment. So I don't want to buy the license, because the moment they buy the license, if we're not stocking stuff, they start complaining. So I need to get enough money to get the license and stock. I suppose the other thing you can do is like pay attention to when prices are going up and down and buy stock when it's low. I think it showed you somewhere the price trend. Let's see, up 359, down 120. So in theory, you should buy this now because the price has come down, isn't it? Actually, I'll just see what the other way. Does this price change when this price changes? 28.80. I need to pay attention to these the wholesale price. If the if the resale price comes down, does the wholesale price come down? It does, right. So you should buy it when it's low then. So oil right now we should buy because it's cheap. You're not sure. Okay, we need to make a note then. What we'll do is we'll make a note of prices at the end of the day and we'll work this out. Okay, we have a lot of stock disappearing here. We're out of cereal. What message, pups? What message were, mate? Twenty-eight 
20 cents. Could you resync the bot? I don't want permissions pressed to complete the operation. Resync the bot? What, as in give it a kick? Which bot do you mean? Uh, $9.30. Okay, I'll have to do it at the end of this day then. I'm a bit busy. Oh boy, I'm missing bread. I've gone from having way too much bread to being completely cleaned out of bread. I feel like people are doing bigger shops as well. Definitely getting more customers here. These guys are cleaning me out. I'm out of pasta and everything now. Do you know what's stupid? At the end of the day, you can't place an order for the next morning. So if you want to order some pasta now, then check out. It's like, no. After 9 p.m., it's closed. You can't order things overnight and have them delivered in the morning. Don't be stupid. of stuff I'm telling you there was like a massive rush then can order before you open in the morning though yeah but the clock starts ticking in the morning doesn't it bread flour oil sugar pasta eighty seven not till you open. Oh, the clock doesn't move until you click open. Interesting. Okay, so it's the end of the day. So first of all, I need to do bot things. One second. Uh, we need to note some prices down. Right, cereal is three fifty nine unit price. Is that three fifty nine times twelve is forty three dollars and eight? How does that work? How does that work? Oh, because I've got two there. Yeah, yeah, okay, so right, we just need to worry about the unit price. So 359 was the unit price wholesale. Oil is 120. Bread is 0.98. Pasta is 0.93. Flour 0.82. And sugar 1.92. Right. Small tip, don't do risk talking in the evening. Light costs money, do it in the morning. <laughs> well, I can't order stuff anyway, and I can always turn the light off. And you can stock at night if you want to. Do a little torch. <laughs> I like how the prices glow. <laughs> That's brilliant. After today, Pups is going to need a kebab. This is partly for that kebab. Hey, 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 wait. Onamichi. If anybody's having kebab, I'm having kebab. We're not doing any pups delivery services here. Right, pups, do you want to check the bots running?
spots back. Right, cool. Get rid of that. Let's end the day. Uh, supply cost 148, upgrade cost 600, rent 20, total profit. I mean, considering we spent 600 upgrading the building, 200 minus 200 profit's not bad. Products not found, too. That's where we ran out of bread and stuff, I think. Right, start the next day. What have we got here? Did the prices change, by the way? Hang on. Do I need to save this game at some point? I don't know if it's automatically saving or not. 359, 120, 98, 93, 66. That's come down. And also sugar's come down from 192 to 123. That's interesting. The flour and sugar just came down in price. Really? Did somebody really stack it like that? It doesn't auto-save. Wow. That is disgraceful. I need to move that pasta, really. It's good that they give you time in the morning to do this before starting the clock. Yeah, funny you could do that. <laughs> um, one, two, three. We've got all types of goods. Okay, today's the day I think we buy another license. Let's go. Start the clock. Can we turn that fridge off? Like it's burning electric. And I'm not even using it yet. Can probably sneak a little fridge there as well. So that electric bill just doubled. Is it me or is she quite small? <laughs> or is he just really tall? No, she's really small. <laughs> she barely can see me over the top of the screen. Uh, 80 cents. Yeah, she had heels on as well. That's insane. What was that? Susu sugar powder? What? Oh, hang on. We had price changes, didn't we? What else was it? Sugar and flour.
exact change. Mr. Davil, thank you for 78 months. Thank you for the bits, by the way, Onimichi. Thank you for 5,000 bits, that's very kind. Atilia, thanks for two months. Chris, thanks for seven. Monkey Nuts with 18. Glenn, how you doing, sir? Thank you for 102. Uh, 40 months from James and a Yacht 10 hype plus merch ordered. Thank you very much. I've actually got the t-shirt on right there. Look at that. Thanks. Got the shirt. Been there, done that, and bought the shirt. Uh, pasta and sugar, maybe? Which have we got here? Got sugar there. Falling over boxes. Other customers know what the price is in all the shops in town. That's what it is. Three, just go away. Yeah, I won't mind a storage room right now and just stock up on all the cheap stuff. I think we can afford a license in the stock now. It's going to get pretty chaotic though. Like trying to serve these people. I think what I'll do is I'll wait to the end of the day, buy the license, and then we'll buy the new stock in the morning before we open. Otherwise, trying to do this as well as stock the shelves with like eight, ten products on it, it's going to get mad. Uh, what am I doing? 120. Ultimately, you want to have like one shelf per product, really, and just have a big store. The delivery charges in this too, so order wisely to save on fees. Wait, what? I didn't notice delivery charges. I was not paying attention to that. Giving him too much, I'll take back. They're definitely doing bigger orders. goes have a nice day sir don't come back
Okay. Management. Licenses. Let's open. Let's get a new license. Actually, we could even get this one if we didn't bother with the fridge. Bottle of water, cheese, coffee, dark roast, eggs, milk, and tea. Purchase license. This is going to be fun. To make a note of these, that's what we got. We've now got water coming in at 95. Eggs coming in at 199. Cheese. 179. Blimey, that's the cheapest cheese ever. Milk. 75. Coffee. We only sell dart roast. 699. That sounds like a nice markup. And tea. 275. I believe I paid the rent, but even if you don't pay the rent. It'll take it'll just take it anyway. So I think what we'll need in the morning is two of them. Two of them. I don't think we'll have enough for this, but we'll see. That's just the new stuff. And then we're gonna need some pasta, some cereal. We need pasta, cereal. Coffee's popular, is it? We're okay for bread. Some flour and some sugar would be good. Wait, max 10 items? Give me a break. I can't order more than 10 items. What kind of supermarket is this? Bottle water and pasta has gone up. Okay, what's pasta gone up? B24, not a lot. Pasta's now 103. Water's now 98. That went up a tiny bit. Thanks, just chucking it everywhere. It's great. Uh, eggs don't need the fridge, do they? But they can go... Probably needs to be in a fridge. Apparently it does. Coffee? Nice. other stuff needs to be in the fridge let me what happens if you leave the milk there not in the fridge does it go off wait what's this that cheese No, market, furniture, fridge, go, buy. We're going to need more fridges. Instant fridge. Okay, now we can put the cheese down there.
Get a lot of bottles of water in a box. What's going to sell more, eggs or water, do you think? Surely water's popular. You reckon the eggs will sell more? All right, let's sell the price. Uh, 280 will do for water. Eggs, straight $4. Cheese, mmm. 350, I reckon. 250. Milk. And we need to restock some stuff over here, don't we? I reckon get one oil. Because I want to rejig these. Oil, cereal. I feel like I've got a lot of space. I think more coffee would be good. Sugar, flour maybe. Get one sugar. One flour. Bread we're okay for. Pasta always does well. I think if the price gets to above 20 cents over normal, they start complaining. I think that's how it works. I think I'm going to start rejigging the stuff a little bit. We go for the vertical stack. Where's the oil? Sugar. Oh yeah, we got the black tea, haven't we? We're doing that classic supermarket thing, you know, where they move stuff around so you don't know where it is. We're doing that. We're just messing with everybody. We've got an entire shelf there that we could use. Fridge is full, pasta, we do triple pasta I suppose. We've still got an entire stack over here. You can buy tea, I can indeed buy tea. I kind of want to buy another bread just so I can rejig it slightly. It does bug me the way you need to have the box of that specific type in order to move something. That is annoying. Why well, don't I have enough money for this? I don't have enough money. Okay, we'll have to forego the bread. Spent all the cash. Pasta box and bread box are the same size. Can I pick up coffee? Ah, I can pick up coffee and tea in the same box. That's interesting. See, yeah, I don't know. 
Maybe colour code the boxes then. Uh, market price will do six dollars. All right, let's get some cash in. We need to get some cash. I can't even pay the bills right now. <laughs> Ten sixty. Three sixty one profit. She's definitely going to come in this shop and buy stuff. She is as well. I can feel it. Come on, ladies. Into my store. Buy some fresh teas and coffees. No? Okay. What about you? Bread? Coffee? Yeah, here we go. And you, madame. Nice shoes, by the way. Great top. <laughs> Compliment the staff. She's buying coffee. She's doing it. She's buying tea as well. Two lots of tea and one coffee. I saw that. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Thought she was robbing me then. Look at this. Teas, coffee, sugar, everything. You're giving the coffee away. Dude, the market price is 1048. I'm selling it for 1060. How am I giving that away? Exact change, like it. Tea seems fairly popular. We're gonna need more tea. He will Thank you. Now I'll have a couple of tea. That's a hundred dollars for tea. I like the way tea stacks in two lots. That's cool. I need to remember to save it, like, because it doesn't auto save apparently. Which is a bit worrying because I don't think there's any option for it either. Nothing. Eighty-five sixty. Go away. It does save. When does it tell you that it's saving? It's very dark in your shop. Dude, turn your monitor up. I need more flour. I don't know, Biff. Nineteen twenty. Ten cents, blind. Yeah, one shelf per product really appeals to me if we can get to that point. Eggs are not exactly selling. Water really isn't selling. 
Definitely think, think we need more eggs and water. Wow, I'm 5280. Back up to three twenty dollars, so we've obviously made good profit today. That guy's cleaning me out of eggs down there. Can I stuck up the milk now? Get rid of some of these boxes. So many people paying cash is ridiculous. Oh, she was tiny. <laughs> Definitely gonna need more stuff ordering. We cleaned five hundred plus dollars today. We still got a spare shelf over there. Come on, love. We're gonna have to rush you. It's nine o'clock. Sixty-eight dollars. Cereal, eggs, and coffee. About 10.40. And that's all she wrote. Blimey. That was a busy day. Income seven hundred and fifty dollars. Supply cost five nine six. Upgrade cost two hundred. Rent bills minus forty two. I thought we'd done well. Apparently we lost money. <laughs> See, the difference between income and sales there is only like a hundred and sixty dollars. Yeah, but even if you take the upgrade out, we only made $160 on the day. That's pretty lame. Oil's gone down, sliced bread has gone up. It's gone down quite a lot, actually. Let's 
cereal bread. Does it limit us because of the drop-off point? I think it does. All right, bread's getting moved over here. I'm going to try and implement our stocking strategy. This will be our stock room. Starting to take shape, I think. I uh, kind of need to rejig these a little bit. I keep I keep oil over here. Can we move sugar? Not in this box. Can we move pasta? No. Wrong kind of box. Has to be a very Pacific cardboard box, doesn't it, pups? Okay, flour, what else we got? $300. Flour, sugar, flour and sugar, I think. Not exactly relaxing game. Well, yes and no, you can hire a cashier later. So things, in the early days, you've got to do everything, basically. Yeah, I was going to say, besides, you're not doing anything. <laughs> you get to watch. I'm doing all the work. What I like is you get to lay out your store, you know. As you get a bigger store, we'll be able to design it better. That's kind of fun. Okay. $297. Which one up was that oil went down to 96? So that is quite cheap for oil. Yeah, it's four dollars shipping. Need to pay attention to that four dollar shipping. Oh, I just got too much spend going on. Uh we'll get rid of the dark roast. Right, we've invested all our money in stock, basically. For 
better or for worse. We now have a lot of tea, but I don't see that as a bad thing. Let's do this. Look at that. Now that is nicely organized. In comes the guy in the bow tie at 8.45 a.m. on his way to a wedding. This guy looks like a security guard or something. And the cheese stock's getting a bit low down there. should be a multiplayer game i don't disagree in fact pups and i were saying that before we started it's like this is a be an ideal multiplayer game imagine a big tesco supermarket multiplayer that would be a blast that would somebody on the checkout somebody on security somebody stocking shelves somebody in the bakery aisle be hilarious Yeah, somebody doing clean up. People dropping stuff on the floor. Like breaking items. Intentional fraud, yeah. You could have it all. Yeah, you could have players as shoppers as well. You know, like they're doing um, Cook Serve Delicious. Like actual people coming in with their Twitch name overhead. Be hilarious. NXN, thank you for 90 months. Biff, thank you for 45. Blimey, she bought a lot of stuff. Can you move to different premises in this? Can you get like a bigger bigger shops or do you have to stay in this one and expand it the vanquish thank you for 93 you expand okay and how big can you expand very big <laughs> very big but it costs so much 
23 sections. What, and you're supposed to run it all on your own? That's insane. Cheese and pasta and coffee, maybe. Customer is waiting. Flipping out the needy, aren't they? They can say I'm up to do everything. Like, I want my bag of flour. I want it now. With my $20 bill. Just leave the cheese by the door, it'll be fine. What is it with people buying one bag of flour? Come on. Get out of my oh, shop. Yes, please. More cheese. Wanna get all this stuff in before somebody nicks it? <laughs> I need a stock room! <laughs> so much cheese by the door is ridiculous. No! There you go. Right, that's everything in. You need to add contactless. This six watt the sweet spot. Got eggs over here. Need some more eggs soon. I like customers that buy lots of stuff and pay with a card. They're the best. Right, I can't remember if I paid the bills. $10 on electric, $20 on rent. This is brutal. Absolutely brutal. I don't think there is a self-checkout. Wait, what? <laughs> we lost $300. <laughs> Supply costs 811 income 497 <laughs> What? Right, black tea and cereal has gone down in price. Black tea now down oh my god that's quite a terrible drop that is a terrible drop i paid 275 for that 
I might not stock tea. <laughs> what was the other one? Uh, cereal. Black tea is now two twenty two to buy. It was two seventy five. See, cereal only went down three cents on the wholesale price. My eggs is looking a bit low. Let's go. I need to get some money back. I have a lot of stock. I think we've tied our money up in stock. I need to shift some cheese though. Yeah, we don't need cheese for a bit. It's flash sale, yeah. It's just going nicely smelly by the doorway where you walk in. Nice. Lots of stuff purchased. Exact money. Hey, big spender. 70. Nah. Nah, mate. You buy a $4.70 item and you give me a $100 bill. Have a nice day, sir. You want to change, you got change. I need to order eggs and milk. Eggs are flying. Eggs, milk, and water, I think. What else do we need? Bread, possibly.
Let's just turn it a bit manic. Well, the thing is, I could hire staff, but I kind of feel like we're not exactly making much profit right now. And if I hire staff, it'll just come out of the uh, profit, won't it? We've got people complaining there was no water and no eggs now. This is pretty manic right now. Is it worth hiring a cashier, do you think? I've had no milk for actually ages. trying to keep everything stocked is like especially when it gets on a rush like this like towards the end of the day it seems to really pick up cheese and didn't notice scumbag we're gonna get complaints we run out of quite a few things in that run coffee's looking a bit depleted as well $1,100 in the bank, bills, $10, $20 paid. Paid. Management, growth, section two, boink. Whoa. That wasn't exactly four by four, that was more like two by eight. <laughs> That was somewhat unexpected. It's 
bit dark over here. Oh, I remember. You have to buy your own spotlights, don't you? Was it under... Oh, where was it now? Furniture. Yeah, you have to buy your own spotlights. <laughs> Otherwise it looks a bit dark. Suppose you can move these, can't you? But you'll never get them lined up again. There we go. This is my office bit now. And that's our stock room. That's a lot more spacious. I like that. Keep in mind you have to walk around the centre every time you go there. Counter. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. No, you can't put an open boxes on the shelf, sadly. Total profit, 448. And that's after $350 worth of upgrades. That's a bit of a better day, isn't it? Sure, bro. Right, coffee is down, tea and oil is up. Oil is now 115. Coffee's down to 682. That's good actually, because we need to buy coffee. And what was the other one? T. 266. I mean, that's gone up. Mind you, it was 275. 1023. All right, 1030. The, the retail price of that has hardly changed, but the wholesale price has dropped quite a bit. T. Wow, that's gone up. All that stock is looking good right now. What was it on oil? 350 I reckon what do we need stock wise pasta I think we could do with another fridge just for like eggs and cheese come on my another fridge could even buy a double fridge Right, we're ordering coffee and pasta. What else do we need? I reckon everything else will last the day. You just eventually expand the stock room to the point you're able to open the side door. Make sure you have a shelf or something in front of it. When it opens, you can't close it. Somebody said you can never get in that side door, Barora. forget about end displays when they do aisles yeah true T price was low no T price went up T price went up in that run to 266 it was 222 level 2 storage opens the doors right
You set the price on T too low, did I? Market price 559, set it to 560. What's wrong? can set it higher right I see so how high do you want to go with that well I heard that if you get above about 20 cents over market price to start complaining but I don't I don't know for sure. Need to move the eggs over here. What I could do is put the water in, actually. I don't like to end things in a nine. You know why? Because when you have to give change, it just makes it more complicated. This box doesn't match the size. Try a different box. You can go higher. All right, so. So that's on 559. Let's go to 580, shall we? And see what happens with it. Coffee's at 1023. Let's go 1050. Maybe it's a percentage. Let's try that. First customer? Hey. Let's see what she goes for. Eggs. Damn it! You just came in for a packet of eggs. Okay. Yeah, of course you want $16. You literally came in for change. We know the scam. We know the scam. Wait, is she back? Oh, you, f you wanted more than eggs. You've forgotten. I see. She wants cheese as well. She's making an omelette. Some cereal. What else she's going for? Sugar. It's going to be a sweet omelette with cereal in it. And some tea. She's gone for the tea. Interested to see if she complains about the tea price. She's actually buying a lot of stuff this time. And some milk. Blimey. Look at all this. And flour. I think she's making a cake. Is that it? I kind of feel like you're carrying other things in that bag apart from a loaf. As she's back again, this time she's getting tea. Forty-three ninety, dude. 
outrageous. It's a big shop. Not complaining. I had a run then of people just using the payment card. That was great. We definitely need more eggs. Eggs and cheese, I reckon. Eggs, cheese, and either sugar or tea, but tea's expensive. So that's what I want. Big spending on the card. This is what I don't want. Can employ a checkout operator. Apparently they're a little bit slow though. Well, certainly in comparison to what you can do yourself. Then again, if you've got multiple checkout operators, even if they work slowly, as long as they can keep up with the customers, it's fine. I do think we need some more lights. It'll cost more money, but it really is dark in this corner. Getting some sales. We're almost at store level 10, whatever that means. Wait, where did you come from?
Yeah. I thought this game was made by someone whose parents hated them streaming, so told them to work in the local store. <laughs> okay. Supply cost 326, upgrade 375. That was a new fridge, wasn't it? So that was a good day. Right, sliced bread has gone up. It was 118. Retail. It's now 124. Five dollars twenty for a loaf. Are you serious? Crumbs, thank you for forty-four months. Uh Lowson, thank you for a year. Cynic with nineteen. Okay, I think I'm gonna order a couple of spotlights. Pasta's looking a bit cleaned out, so is flour. So probably a couple of boxes of flour, a couple of boxes of pasta. Maybe bread, but it went up. Tea's not come back down yet. Milk's nearly cleaned out. Great stuff. They've moved the door and my brain hasn't got used to it yet. <laughs> Just keep going to where the door used to be. Yeah, I don't like the way that the box is like, there are things in the box that you can't see. And so you legitimately might end up binning stuff that you don't realize is in the box, unless you put it down and check. And that's a bit, you know, that's a game thing that shouldn't be there really. See if we can get these. Yeah, a bit better. The way around you can you can check is to close the box. If it shows the product label, it has stuff in it. So if I do that, and then I do that, you're saying if that's empty, there won't be a label. $18 electric bill? What? $35 rent? Literally, because we've upgraded, the charging is way more. $800 for storage. So a cashier would want a daily wage of $80. What does that mean? Complete checkout, 200 of 200. Oh that, oh, that was my requirement to get it. I see. So if you want a cashier level two, we need to do more 400 checkouts and so on. So $80 a day out of our profit. Yeah, but B's right. I can understand the rent going up on a bigger place, but why did the electric bill go up? Because I hadn't added any more equipment into that room. Not even any lights at that point. No, there are no self-service checkouts. 
Restock shelves, what's this? Required storage. Is that basically a sack barrow? So you can just put stuff on it. Purchase a rack. So get storage, purchase a rack, and get a store level 15. Interesting. What do you mean, extra fridge? Oh, because I put the big fridge in there. So my electric bill went from... That almost doubled it. How much does that cost? Wait, hang on a minute. Why does the... <laughs> Why does the price of 4x4 four four meters go through the roof? How does that work? Product license, peanut butter, flour, olive oil, pasta. I think I'd rather get storage before I start getting involved in different stock. Because right now, running in and out. To do, like, another license, you probably need to have somebody on the cashier's desk and you probably need to have something in storage. Need cereal. Possibly coffee. I think we're going to run out of cereal. Cashier is slow. One item per second. One item per second? What the heck are they doing? You could train a monkey to work quicker than that. That is some 4K texture right there. Look at that. Spared no expense. Uh, Big Dog TV, thank you for subbing with Prime. Welcome. Eggs, cheese, on oh no, a water. Eggs and water. I'm trying to guess what she's making. Eggs, water, and flour. She's making a cake. Hi, the restocker. Hmm. So the restocker, what? We'll go outside and grab the stuff and bring it in? Or do you have to have a storage before you can do a restocker? These shelves in a storage room, right? Nice suit, sir. Nice suit. Looking very posh, very dapper. Oh, he looked at the pastor and then changed his mind and went for cereal. Cereal and tea. He's having breakfast. Those trousers she's got on look like they've been painted on. <laughs> That's amazing. At least they're buying tea at high price. I don't want to restock on tea yet, though, because it's still expensive to buy. Cashier will be good, then focus on restocking yourself. It depends if the cashier can keep up. If they're only cashing out at one per thingy, one per second or whatever it was. When you get a rush on, that's going to be bad. Oh, 
Yeah, we're getting cleaned out there, look. Coffee, cereal. What else do we need? Maybe some bread. Yeah, the box doesn't have a label when it's empty, so it does seem to work. And you close it like that. Uh, three nine four eight, think fifteen months. Get the cereal on there before they cry about it. I can't buy my favourite cereal. There is a queue building up. I just what? Three I what? Three three pieces, great. That's because I'm rushing now. Uh is this cereal? Yeah. I do. I'm, I'm getting to the point where I just need, like, extra help. There's just so much going on, you know. Like, I can do the scanning, but, like, the restocking and buying. Especially the buying, because you've got to work out what you need. That was a busy day, not gonna lie. <laughs> All the bills are paid. Yeah, I don't know, I'm kind of thinking we should probably uh, hire a staff member so I can deal with stock control. But did they just not do a smaller cashier desk than that? That's just massive. Because ideally you'd want two of them in here and then they can keep up.
But maybe like one per second isn't so bad. We do need flour. I think I'm going to hire somebody. I'm going to try it out. I might end up firing them, but it costs us $100. He looks so happy to be here. Can't fire. It literally has a fire button, though. Oil and sugar is up. Have a look. Oil's gone up to 166 from 115. Jeez. That is a jump. And sugar. Where's sugar going? 147 from 123. Oof. Just when I'm running low. Fantastic. Right, we definitely need flour. We definitely need water. We'll have three of them. Three of them. Sugar is... We're not going to survive on that. Tea has not come down yet. Pricey, pricey sugar that is. What do you reckon, tea? Either tea or another flower. You can actually do one extra flower, one extra tea. <laughs> Scratch cards. <laughs> if only. See, now that means I can open the store and crack on while he gets on with the cashier bit. So that lets me focus on this bit, doesn't it? Let's get everything out of the road before it gets run over. He served his first customer. I think storeroom is the next thing. To be honest, he's not that bad, that guy. I thought he'd be worse. the way this stuff glides across into the bag. <laughs> He's doing okay. Bless him. Might need some more cheese soon. As long as he keeps up with staff, that's uh, the customers, that's all that really matters. Right, we 
definitely need four lots of cheese. I reckon we need some more pasta. Could take a bag of eggs, I suppose. Yeah, exactly. We don't have to deal with all the change faff, Tom. I can focus on restocking and he can just scan stuff. But the game makes you basically take over, doesn't it? Because if I want to buy a higher level cashier, I have to basically scan, was it 400 items or something? Or 400 checkouts? So I will have to go back on the till if I want to upgrade that guy. But for now, I think he's okay. Uh, green sauce, thank you for three months. I don't know if his checkout will count. I'm assuming not. God, I feel like I can actually keep on top of stuff now. This is great. <laughs> yeah, I figured it would only be mine. I figured it was like oh, a game mechanic to stop you avoiding scanning altogether. Sneaky, that thing nearly had me then. I wonder if your electric bill is just based on how much equipment you have in here and if you have the light on. Do, like, if I turn that off during the day, does that save me any money? Or can I just have the light on all day? Uh, Reese Mullow, thank you for five months. Rubbish Gamer, thank you for 33. Peter the Hobbit, thank you for 110. Peter Kerr, 100, uh, 278. Wait. No, 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 no. We're not mentioning the C word. <laughs> it's March. You have no business mentioning the C word. Well, I can sell on prices based on my electricals. Okay. That's what I hoped. <laughs> Why is she got like a weird matte black thing with her hair? Almost like an outline. You need to work faster, buddy. You've got a big queue there. Never happens with me. Just saying. Thank you for the bits, glorified gamer. Is that one of the unit engines? I don't know. I am not ending the day till this guy's finished selling all these goods. Wait, can you put stuff in there? 
No. You can't even transfer from one box to the other. That's ridiculous. Look at this queue. This guy is so slow. Excuse me, love. Those high heels are damaging my floor. Could you not? That's actually authentic mahogany from the Brazilian rainforest, you know. And those heels are ruining it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, yeah, you can do this, right? It's just the fact that you can't transfer from one box to the other is just a bit weird. You still at it, buddy? You know it's nine o'clock. It's been nine o'clock for a long time. To be fair to the guy, he's on a 13-hour shift. However, I did that and ordered stuff and restocked the shelves. There we go. We made a profit of 678. That's pretty good. That's not terrible at all. Okay, what's uh, oil and bread is down, eggs is up. Let's have a look. Whoa, that bread is cheap. That was crashed, that has. That's come down like almost 25%. Oil, 133. I need storage room. Maximize profit. We need to buy cheap, don't we? What was it? Oil, bread, and eggs has gone up. Wow. From one ninety nine to two thirty nine. That's insane. Luckily, we've got a good stock of eggs. I'm gonna make that a clean five dollars. see what do we need for storage eight hundred dollars so what does that do that unlocks the room next door does it purchase it and find out purchase this section to expand your supermarket eight hundred dollars do we need these now for small racks or something I take it we buy racks and put them in here. Tier 3 for the door. To be careful we don't overspend. We've got two of them. What else do we need? We need to definitely buy bread because the prices come right down. Don't really need much else. Coffee we can do with some, I guess. Sugar's still high, I think, at the moment. Right, let's go with that. Storage racks are only <laughs> useful when you hire a stocker. Maybe. It's an investment in the future, though, isn't it? What I want to use it for is when we've got surplus cash, we can basically, when the price drops on something, we can stock up on it in the storage room. 
therefore maximize our margins. Because the prices are fluctuating on things all the time. You can move the PC to the storeroom. I mean, that's useful, actually, because you will want this space at some point, right? in theory now you could put that on here can you huh I like the way it labels it and then tells you how many you've got so you've got three bottles in storage that's pretty neat So sugar is still 147. Actually, when we started out, sugar was 192. Let's get the bills paid for the day. Got $45 left. We're going to want sugar, we're going to want Let's start that again. We're going to want sugar, we're going to want flour. Flour is cheap at the moment actually, 66, that's probably going to go up. I reckon we do a speculative purchase on that. For a hundred dollars. Plenty of flour. <laughs> oh, it put it wraps it up when it puts on the shelf. That's cool. Can you put stuff on the top as well? Or is that the top? You can't reach that then. You can put on the same shelf. Oh, these things stack? Interesting. Interesting. Not sure how that works, but fair enough. Right, we need to put some flour back here and some sugar back here. So if we start building this stock room up, then eventually we can hire the person to do that as well. And then we can go sit on a beach. Pasta's looking a bit low as well. Right, sugar's up there. What's that? Flour. Yeah, 
Eggs are starting to get a bit low. Eggs and pasta. Actually, eggs is currently quite highly priced. I'm going to leave that and hope it comes down, although it's just gone up. Mm. Pasta's at 103. That's still a little bit pricey. What's cheese like? Cheese is not moved in price at all at the moment. Tea is still fairly high. Coffee is reasonable, but I reckon it might go cheaper at some point. I think we can get through the day and see what the prices do. Eggs is something we're definitely going to have to buy at some point. Yeah, we'll wait till tomorrow and get a price change and see what happens. Install a camera so you can watch what's happening. That'd be cool if you could put a camera up here and then just sit in the other room there and watch it all on CCTV. Watch this big queue form in front of Jeff. There's no light in here. Can't see a flipping thing. Where's the light switch? Seriously, does this thing have a light switch in here? Do you have to buy a light and install a light switch yourself? Can't see. Yeah, but if I buy a light, will it install a switch automatically? Or do I have to buy a switch? See, there is no switch. Oh, it's on the same light switch as the shop. Okay. In that case, we'll have two lights. So want one in the middle. Yeah, pasta's looking very low. I'll have to go for four on that. Now nah, I want another one in here. I want one in the center and then I'll put one in the other room. Otherwise it'd be too dark in here. Come on, mate. We're just waiting for you now and then we can go home. So, you know the cashier level 2? Is is he just quicker? Or do you need a cashier level 2 to man a level 2 station or something? He's not quicker. So what's a level 2 cashier do? What's the benefit? Oh, it's a, I see. It's a second cashier. Right. So if you want to hire another one, you've got to scan 400 items yourself. Fair enough. Upgrade cost 1200 <laughs> Yeah, that was a rough day. <laughs> right, bread is down, tea is down, and cereal is down. Well, that can stay. Yikes, that's a drop.
There's a third and fourth cashier. Nice. Cheese grommet. There might be donuts. I don't know. We need more licenses for things. It's nice and bright in here. And we can even see what we're doing in here. Lovely. Very nice. Alright, let me check the market prices again. So cereal's down to 355. That is the cheapest it's been so far. Bread is down to 88. That is also the cheapest it's been. So I think we need to get some stock here. Bread and cereal definitely sells. Wait, what? Why does that box look like it's empty? Well, it has a label on it. That was weird. <laughs> No, they don't have a shelf life. Not currently, anyway. I got cereal. stock room going here. Uh, tea and flour. Tea still didn't come down in price. Mickey, thank you for 94 months, sir. Right, we're going to need to order some tea and we're going to need to order some milk and eggs very quickly. At this point, there is no way I'd be able to cope without a cashier as well. It just wouldn't happen. Where's the eggs? Down to the last packet. I've been built, did I? I thought I'd checked them all. I kind of feel like the game should should warn you if you're about to bin something. All right, Kenko, how are you doing?
That's some mistake in shelves, dude. I've seen. I know you've played this game. I've seen you play it. <laughs> Right, well, we're doing sugar and bread. Some bread off the shelf. Do any sugar here? Negative. Yes, we do. Yeah, apparently we refrigerate eggs. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, eggs are fine at room temperature usually. Well stocked again. Get some more stock in. And eggs are very expensive. annoying you get a price lock at nine o'clock uh i want to build up our stock supply i want to get another shelf in get our stock room going and then get the restocker in i'm just conscious of, of the cash situation you know i want to do things too early You are right, sir. Oil is very low. I don't think I even have any stock. Nope. To try for that order in the morning. If I go to so for cashier to get a second cashier, I need to do sixty more scans myself. Oh, sixty more checkouts, not scans. And I'd need level twenty on the stool. I don't want to get into more stuff yet. You're definitely going to need a restocker and a a bigger bigger room to deal, deal with that. I mean, we can get more shelves down the middle here, no problem. But that stock room isn't going to cope with it. Yeah, you're kind of both, Billy. Slight profit on the day. Right, pasta and cereal's gone up. Not much. Ooh, that's nice. Except I wanted to order some cereal and they put the price upon me to 420 from 355 guys. I wanted to order that at 355 and they put the price up overnight to 420. Pasta's moved at 1 cent. So that's not moved. Scumbag game. Really is. That nine o'clock cut off.
is a bit annoying. Still, we had a lot of cereal and the price has gone up on it, so that's not so bad. Oh, it's full, full, full. Too much bread. Right, water's low. We could do some more cheese and some more water. Definitely have water down. No, that's milk. No, that's milk as well. There's the water. I knew we had water. Don't think we have cheese. Uh, cheese. Cheese price hasn't moved. Water price hasn't really moved. Sugar's at medium price. Are you writing down the piece or just on excellent memory? <laughs> Literally writing down the prices <laughs> on a piece of paper. I did not memorize the specific prices of every product. Okay, pasta and possibly flour. <laughs> True game here. Yeah. fairly well stocked at the moment. Flour's still very cheap, actually. I think we need to get a run on flour while it's still cheap. What's eggs like? Eggs is exp definitely expensive at the moment. 
Milk doesn't change. Well, I thought we had milk next door. Labels are a bit glitchy, aren't they? Like, why can't they put the icon, like the label, on the side there? You know, like, it's on the top. Which is fine, but it would be a lot better if it was on the side when you put it up here. That's all the purchasing for today, although we can do with oil. Yeah, I can't bother rushing it. Yeah, we may have to start thinking about a restocker. <laughs> Just got to wait for Jeff to finish. Buy more shelves in the shop or in the storeroom? So, if we buy more shelves in the shop, I still have to run them between these two things, don't I? If you buy them in the storeroom, I can chuck the box on there and then pay somebody to just put the individual items out. But I think, you know, we are getting to the point where we do need more shelves in here. Uh, the door unlocks level... Three, I think. Not making much profit. Two hundred dollars. We had a day where we made like six hundred. Right, bread and cheese is up, flour is down. It's not high, but it's certainly upper end of the price range. Uh, cheese is two fourteen. That's the highest I've seen it. That's not good. And flour down to fifty two. That's the cheapest I've seen it. I thought sixty six was cheap. But yeah, we're gonna have to buy oil, no matter what. See, the annoying thing is, like, at the moment, I can see what shelves need filling. If I start, like, back-to-backing shelves in the middle of the floor, I've got to come round here to look around the back of the shelf. And I'm bound to miss things. Q 
if you have, say, shelf like that, you know, I've got to go and keep checking that. Is it better to put them like that? I suppose unless we stack them that way, I guess. I've already moved the computer room. So we can lay it out like that. We get two more shelves in doing that. We can stick the fridges over here somewhere. You can get close on the shelf. I can. I just, I'm setting it where I feel comfortable, you know? Are we going to get, how much have we got? $800. 202 shelves. And then for products, what do we need? We definitely need oil. I think we need pasta. And I'm low to buy eggs at the moment. They're so pricey. I can go that. Uh, you can choose the lane when you stock. What do you mean? Get a second cashier. No, no, I can't get a second cashier. I, I need to work the till first before I can automate that. To be honest... Like, apart from at the end, I don't think the cashier's struggling too much. I think you'd need another cashier when you start getting a bigger store with more shelves. I presume you get more customers. Let's 
full. Hmm. Oh well. <laughs> Guess I'll stay in there then. Pull them in and let them walk around the far end. What, yeah, and put all the snacks at the back and that kind of thing. Typical tricks. Well, I could buy a second till and man it myself and put it here. That's another option. I can also take that and stick it on the end of here. Oh, that fridge got moved, love. You can get a second cashier desk here, potentially. It is getting slightly harder now to see what's in stock and what isn't. Because you have to keep peering around corners now. Coffee. How much is coffee? Six eighty two. Hmm. It's not high. Cash flow is a bit of a problem. We'll put two in the basket. You want a cereal in stock? Bread's getting low. Definitely had bread, didn't we? Fresh bread. Well, it was fresh last week. See what's in the fridges easily. He's definitely got a queue building up, hasn't he? How much is it for a cashier till? Furniture. Five hundred dollars. $500, man. Five hundred dollars so that I can cash out a bit quicker. That's just gonna come straight out of CapEx. That is brutal, that is. As if. As if there's like one bottle in here. Nope, there's another four sneaking in there. That's like me, that, on the bottom shelf. Because I'm so tall, I have to literally, like, get on my knees to get stuff off the bottom shelf. And Mrs. Squirrel doesn't understand, like, when I'm stood here, why I can't see things on the bottom shelf, and she can. I'm like, well, can you see stuff up here on the top shelf? No, I'm not tall enough. 
<laughs> Same thing. <laughs> Our eyes are at different places. <laughs> One thing is like when you're told, the amount of times you get asked to get something off the top shelf. Like some, some small ladies like that. I, I don't suppose you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> oh, I'm, I don't want to buy eggs. That's way too pricey. I think I'm going to wait to the end of the day and hope that that price comes down. And I feel like he is starting to uh, struggle a little bit. I couldn't find dark roast coffee. Wait, what? Oh, that's cereal. Oh boy, we don't have any dark roast coffee. What did I put in the basket? Dark roast coffee. Now, you've got delivery fees to pay, mate. You've got to be careful what you buy. We'll do a late night delivery. Coffee's back in stock. I mean, who wants coffee at this time of night anyway? Eggs are getting low. I don't like the way everybody in this town drives around in a big loud diesel car. <laughs> Sorry about this, sir. I just need to stock the eggs. I think he's got a massive queue, look. I like the way you can just dynamically move the lights around. No electrician required. Yeah, I think... I really don't want to invest $500 in another till until I have to. But... He's kind of struggling. <laughs> I don't know if I can take over the till, actually. What does he do if I take over? No, I can't click on it. He's got it locked. It's his till. I'll probably have to fire him. Oh, he'd never work at Aldi, this guy, would he? Can you imagine? He wouldn't even make it past the preliminary test. <laughs> Cool, we're done. Get out. Income one thousand dollars. Profit eighty. <laughs> That's amazing. We took a thousand dollars of trade and made eighty six dollars. <laughs> One product not found. Right, sliced bread and cereal has come down in price. Let's go and relabel them. It's 
sliced bread is now... Oh my god, that is a price draw. 382, we'll say. Whoa, that is a drop. I'm not happy about that. I am not happy about that price drop. Cereal is now 336. That is the cheapest it's ever been. Slice bread is now 91. That's the cheapest it's ever been. Dark times. Well, I don't need to stock up on cereal. I've already got two boxes of stuff over here. Same with sliced bread, look. Which means I bought that at a higher price. Frustrating, eh? shelves in here. Oh, game, please. No, I don't. I don't think it's going to help one bit. I need to upgrade the storeroom, don't I? It's just too small. The door doesn't help. So I can't even put that there. For that reason, there's no purpose to stock. Hmm. There will be. Might as well just chuck it all out here. Bag these in here? No. That's the wrong size box. Bread and pasta works. But you can't put sugar in there. I don't get it. I can put flour in there. Bread and flour works. I can put that next to that, for example. that on bread but to do that I need to get rid of the sugar but if I don't have a box of sugar or something similar hmm do you reckon coffee would allow it this is ridiculous the restrictions on carrying things is a bit frustrating You think sugar and cereal work? Well, let's try it with the cereal then. I think I've got cereal somewhere. They do indeed. Put 
put the sugar down there. Customers getting on. Literally, this is what supermarkets do, Dave. They move things around all the time. They don't like you getting used to where things are. They like to make it inefficient for you to shop so that you're more likely to walk past something you wouldn't normally see and you may buy it. Supermarket theory is a science in itself. It's crazy. Oh yeah, they have fruit at the entrance and they put all... If you want bread or crisps, they put them at the back of the supermarket in the corner. So you've got to go all the way across there to get it. I think it's one store, yeah, but you can get a pretty big store out of it. We also got pasta. Cheese. Completely empty now, stock here. <laughs> Getting a little light in here, it's a bit dark. Especially in this corner now. I can't see a thing. I think I need to put the lights in between the aisles. Like that should be there. I need like another one, two. Maybe. I wish it was like it would show you. I wish your computer would just show you stock. Like on here, it would just give you an idea of what you're getting low on. Right, we have a lot of milk by the look of it. Definitely going to need to order some stuff. Tea and coffee are like middle of the road. Eggs is getting low. Flour and bread is fine. Sugar we need more of. Water we need more of. Cheese we need more of. <laughs> need to buy a lot of stuff. It 
It is a bit like a pandemic right now. Okay, that, that is empty. And we, all we've got left now is milk. <laughs> That's it. It's almost like we just cashed out our inventory. <laughs> See, that's the most profit we've ever had because we didn't buy any stock. I also didn't pay the rent by the look of it. Sugar is down, pasta's up, bread is up. So sugar has just come down in price. 145, which is only a tiny change. It has been as low as 123. But we're going to need some of it anyway. Uh, pasta is 125. That's quite pricey now. Never seen it that high before. Bread is down to 77. Which is the cheapest I've ever seen it. So I think we're having that. It's been to spend a little time here just taking control of the stock situation. I think we can probably afford to buy more bread and stock it. Just put it in the storeroom because it's so cheap. Okay, let's have a look what else we need. I need to adjust the price, don't I? Bread... Probably do three thirty if we're lucky. What else changed? It was sugar, wasn't it? I think. Yeah, let's come back. And there was something else. Bread, sugar, and pasta. Okay, in terms of stock, we need eggs, cheese, and water. I think we'll get three of them, three of them, four of them. Try and get liquids here, like milk and water down there. Right, cheese. So we had a day of, like, high profit. This is going to be a day of no profit because it's all basically buying stock back.
Okay. Let's get this going. Like, one entire box goes on one shelf with eggs. Just bin cheese. Woo! Uh, oil we need, tea we need. Oh, still relatively cheap. Five of them. Tea is... Not the cheapest it's been. Yeah, there is no warning when you're going to throw stuff away, which is definitely annoying. Well, the oil's quite cheap, so I'm stocking up on it. Yeah, I know there's no picture if it's empty, but I've made the mistake more than once and there's still no warning. doing. Cyril's low. I think we've got milk in the storage, haven't we? It is a skill issue, yeah. Yeah. I'm not just playing the game, that's the thing. <laughs> and mistakes get made. So it's got label on it. There's like... I mean, this is the problem I have with it. Why doesn't the game hold the box so you can actually see into it or allow you to look down? Why do I have to physically close it and check if there's a label on it in order to know that there's something in there? If you was holding a box in front of you, you could just literally go, it's empty. In this game, you can't. So you put it in the bin, you get no warning, and you lose stock. Unless you close the label, check there's no icon before you do it. It's a bit annoying. Right, sugar's good, that's good. Flour. Flour and cereal. Do we have any? I don't have any cereal left. We used to have a load of cereal. Flour's at 52. Which is the cheapest it's ever been, so I'm going to grab a load of flour. And cereal is pretty much the cheapest it's been for a while, so we'll grab all of that. I don't mind it allowing you to bin a box even when it's not empty. But the only reason I'm binning stuff is because I physically can't see inside the box without doing a particular thing, you know? It's just the way the game's presenting it to me. I'm sure it'll get fixed.
plenty of quality of life mods available. Really? I didn't know this game was moddable. That's interesting. Come on, this is a quicker till. This is the Aldi till over here. <laughs> Come on, Jeff, race you, mate. 180. Don't come back. I've finished, Jeff. What about you? Quicker tail there, buddy. Excuse me, sir. Quicker tail here. What are you supposed to do about this? Like, this is dumb. In real life, customers would come to the empty till. There's no way they would just do that. That makes no sense. Oh well. They want to stand there queuing up them, get on with it. Am I supposed to do anything with that? Had a second tail, can't do anything about it. Do you reckon because he's nearer the door? <laughs> there should be a button that you can press that goes, Next customer, please. Till number two is available. Next customer, please. That's what you want. Why will placing the till again help? Can't test it anyway, he's finished. Well done, Jeff, well done. There you go. We went from a 900 and something profit to minus 462 because I spent $500 on a till that nobody uses. <laughs> Oh my god! Sugar, tea, cereal, it's all gone up. It's all gone up. Let's have a look. I'm glad I bought some cereal, because that's just gone up from 366 to 403. And I just stocked up on that stuff. That's brilliant. We can jack the price on there. Sugar, up to 155. Not the highest it's been. Uh, coffee. Whoa, seven fourteen. That's the price this coffee's been. And tea. Two sixty six. No real difference there. Uh, the what now? What did I just click? That's hardly gone up. We'll call that. And 90 on the coffee. 
Nice jump. 570 on the T. Oh, that's a nice jump. Uh, I'm glad you reminded me about the break because I literally had no idea that it was that time. Um, what was the other one? Sugar, was it? 670. Uh, Andrew, thank you for 74 months. Merry Easter weekend to you as well. Uh, Attila, thanks for 42 months, by the way. And Brother Mug, thank you for 77. Um, bit low on the old pasta and oil out here. Have we got any liquids out here? Bit of oil. to buy tea and coffee and the problem is we appear to be out of stock on the old coffee though and it's fiercely expensive at the moment so I'm not happy about that uh, the PC is in the storage area Why have I got three lots of rent? Day 21, day 22, day 23. Did I not pay the rent for three days? Rip. Okay, I think we've got a, we've got a good stock situation. Maybe the cheese is a bit low. Those are upcoming rent payments. They can't be. Did I re You can pay the rent early. That's interesting. Cheese, water. There is no direct debit. I really wish there was a direct debit. Try pulling it down again, but before the, the day starts, maybe. Maybe that will trigger it into action. Otherwise, I don't know. Yeah, I, I didn't think you could pay early. Because I've not seen any way of paying early. Look. Purchase this to expand your supermarket. So we can expand the supermarket... I can't hire somebody yet until I do this bit. We can expand the storage, but I don't think I want to yet. And then we can ex... well... It's a difficult one, isn't it? Like, if you want to start selling more stuff, you've got to spend 400 on a license. You need to spend 200 on each shelf just so that you can put the stuff in there. And then if you don't stock all six of them, of which you need to then buy inventory, you literally need like $2,000 just to do it. And at that point, when we're selling 18 different products, you need a restocker. But in order for that to work, you need a bigger storeroom. You need a storeroom that can store all those things. Otherwise, your restocker can't restock. Um, we can almost stock nuts if we get peanut butter. Yeah, I know you can get a loan, but... I like the interest on that. I really wish my mortgage had an interest like that. 0.02%. It's a 15-day loan, 175 a day. 
a slippy slope, that loan thing, you know. So you basically can't change the amount at all. All you can do is change the um, the payment terms. It's a daily amount. Yeah, but it's only 12 days. I mean, these loans are... Like, if you think of Wonga and these are the payday loans, they charge, like, 30% a day or <laughs> something stupid. Late payment fee. Oh, yeah, somebody said with the, with the loans, if you don't pay it, then you pay a fee. So if I, like, I forgot to pay the rent, if I forget to pay the loan payment, I'll also pay a fee on top. And the funny thing is, they don't tell you how much the late payment fee is. Which is interesting. We definitely need pasta. But it is not cheap, so I'm going to keep it to a minimum. We definitely need coffee, but it's not cheap. Jeez, everything's expensive right now. I need to let the stock burn out because... Um, some of the stuff that I'm low on is really, really pricey. Let me see. I'm going to stand here and see if they come over to me. Oh. American Express, that'll do nicely. Barclay card, that'll do nicely. You had to spoil it with cash, didn't you, sir? Actually, all cards are not accepted. I think we only accept Barker card here. Hey, look. Looks like a blue Barker card. This is theft. Oh, I just gave her the wrong change. I short changed her by 10 cents and she said it was theft. She's going to go and, like, post that on TikTok now. I got robbed! Ten cents! How am I going to pay my rent this month? Theft! They should close that place. Throw him in jail, the owner. Because what I did was I clicked on ten and two fives. And I should have clicked on three tens. So I gave her three coins. It's just two of them were the wrong ones. Mistakes happen. Well, the thing is, Baz, I've already smashed into my brain now, haven't I? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Didn't see you ninja up. Have you tried speaking to people? Like saying, hello. I wish at the end of the day it'd show me how how many 
customers he served and how many I served. I have a little race with him. Oh, cheese is looking bad there, isn't it? I gave him the wrong change. He didn't complain about it. I gave him too much and he just walks out the store. All happy. Short change someone 10 cents and they cry. I literally did two customers to what you're one, mate. Horrendous. Why do I pay you? I reckon this guy here is either an accountant or a computer programmer. 4D, thank you for the bits. And last month I forgot the loan payment, and four bailiffs came to the shop and took everything out of it, and dragged me out into the street. Then on the way home I crashed into a random cyclist, and he sued me and I spent a night in the police station. Which was nice. Lol fast show. Oh dear. I can't understand why people queue up though and then don't just come over to an empty till. Wait, he just grabbed a bottle of milk from here, like up there. He literally reached up and got milk. Too slow, Jeff. I don't think you can upgrade your staff. I think you can just get more of them. Oh, he doesn't know how to get milk. He's freaked out. How do I get this milk out of this fridge? I can't work it out. I wonder if he's going to spend the entire day doing this. <laughs> Couldn't find Dark Rose Coffee. What's this guy after anyway? I mean, all I can think of doing is just moving the fridge. He just can't work out how to open that fridge. I've never seen any of them glitch before like that. Yeah, why would you come to the empty till, sir? Why would you do, just go there? I saw you shoplifting. I think we're out of coffee completely, aren't we? There's tea. Wait, what? You wait till I leave and then you want my attention?
I'm gonna have to end the day. Like I can't do anything about him. One short changed, one product not found. Total profit one thousand and fifty dollars. Dark Rose Coffee's gone up again. Dude, it was already insanely priced. And now it's seven fifty seven. Are you kidding me? It has never been that high. I can't believe I'm going to have to buy it at that price. Bread went up a tiny amount. Except here. That's interesting because the, the retail price shot up, but the wholesale price only went up a tiny bit. Look at that, $240 on coffee. I get three boxes, I assume I can shift that in a day. Oh, pasta problem. We definitely have a pasta problem. We definitely have a cheese problem. Wow, look at that price. Eleven sixty, I reckon we get away with. Let's get the cheese in. Okay. We've got enough money for some kind of an expansion, but I'm... In two minds about what to expand. If we go for a bigger room, then we're going to end up paying more rent. That's for sure. And what's a bigger room going to give us anyway? Unless it's tied with more stock, it doesn't make any difference. So we'd expand that if we're going to put more shelves in there and then get a license. Uh, Lieutenant Dan, thank you for 27 months. We should put Frodo eggs to the restock themselves, probably. Was if you can't just have a till and no like if you in Tesco right there's loads of tills that are just not in use nobody walks up to them and starts ringing the bell like expecting service cool. 
Lowe's. Lowe's checkout. There you go. Checkout closed. That's better. So bigger room, more shelves, get the license. That's the order, isn't it? Checkout's open. Come here. I've noticed the way it's coded is if a customer has picked a checkout already, they stay in that queue even if you open another checkout. Which is not how it generally works. When I've been stood in a queue and somebody opens a checkout, there's a big scrum to get there. There's two uh, identical twins in the store right now. She's going to that one and she's going to this one. What was that about flour? What was that comment about flour then? She made some comment about it. Why is nobody using this till? Is it overpriced or something? It's not overpriced. I might as well close that because nobody's using it anyway. Sugar stock's coming down. Actually, sugar's still relatively cheap. Uh, it's not really like a Big Ambitions game, because Big Ambitions, you can open different kinds of store and you have to deal with the logistics. Like in Big Ambitions, you can open up a food place, a clothing place, a tech place, like... And then you have to go and negotiate contracts and source your items. This is more focused on one store. Well, I hope when I hire a second cashier, they don't do this. Because this is annoying. There's a man who likes coffee. And change. Closed. <laughs> Don't pay the rent. <laughs> What's come back? 
<laughs> just wait until he was coming right at me and then close the till. Open. <laughs> Quarters are confusing. Wait, what? What's confusing about a quarter? If I if I give you a cake and I cut it into four pieces, what have you got? You got four quarters. Six dollars, sir. Nice. Just watching items just float into the bag. Right. Let's have a look. A hundred three profit. Not bad. Not bad. I suspect there's going to be some price changes. Yeah, I think he is, Babs. Like, Americans use quarters, so they're like 25 cents. In England, we have 20 pence pieces. So instead of splitting the dollar into four pieces, you split the pound into five. That's the only difference. Right, sugar, flour, and eggs have all come down in price. That's good news. Flour's down to 42. That is nice and cheap now. We'll have some of that. Sugar is down to 127. That's almost the cheapest it's been. And eggs. They used to be 239, they're down to 198. So if I purchase that right and then buy more eggs, what happens outside? If I purchase that as well now, so that's two deliveries outside. <laughs> that's not too bad. Um, eggs, wasn't it? Wow, that's a drop. What was it? Eggs, flour, and the cheese. I have worked in retail, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I used to work in uh, Dixon's, which is now Curry's. So like a tech retail store selling, you know, everything from hi-fi, TVs, that kind of thing. And I've worked in Marks and Spencer's, which is a bit like this kind of place, like a big supermarket type environment. Little part time jobs. The first paying job. It depends when you want to count. Like, I used, like, I've done. I mean, we're going back to teenage years. I did a paper round. Didn't like that very much. I can't remember if that was the first. As well as a paper round, I also got paid to drop leaflets because it was a similar thing.
Hyperboy on the Spectrum is an absolutely terrible game. Yeah, it was absolutely awful game on Spectrum. I remember it had like no audio or some bad audio. It's a huge disappointment. One of the worst ports I've ever seen. Wait, how did a flower get up there? What the heck? School days, I remember that. That was weird. I think it glitched through from the other side. It's closed. God. Wait, what? I can't click on anything. I think I just found a bug. I I closed that while he put stuff on it, and then when I went to sit on it, I couldn't serve him. And so I pressed close again, at which point it deployed the close thing. Let's go see how we're getting on. We have no pasta. Getting low on water. Pasta at 125, still not cheap. Water at 98. Not really moved very much. I'm definitely feeling the need for somebody to restock for me. <laughs> I really want to automate this part of it now. And also, I think I need a second cashier fairly quickly. Yeah, Amazon drone delivery. That's what it is. It's almost instantaneous. Box is glitched, look. <laughs> Sometimes you need to get stuck open. Pasta can go there. Oh, oil is critical. 
tea and coffee's not good. Milk slow. Yeah, you definitely can't pay the bills in advance. That was nonsense. good thing about tea is the box has a lot of items so it kind of lasts a long time I feel like I need a lot more lights in there it just looks dark all the time it's weird What are these two doing? Have a little conversation in my shop. I saw that. Either buy something or get out. Three dollars and sixty cents. Wow, how much stuff do you want? Is it me, or are they spending more money? $3,000 in the bank, guys. I think we might be ready for a little expansion here. if we can buy a second cashier now management higher oh 19 checkouts more okay growth expand your supermarket seven fifty dollars done let's have a look what that looks like Okay, I didn't expect it to go that direction, but that's fine. Could put the tills down here. One option. Okay, so without that upgrade, it would have been 500 in profit. Flower's gone up. 60 cents. Mm. It's still reasonably priced. Check the retail on that.
Yeah, we could um, we could put the tills down there. That's one option. Eighty-three Blair, thank you for two years. Oh, like this is one way of doing it, possibly. Or rather like that. Oh, that's why they sell a mirror version, isn't it? They are normally near the exit, so I'm aware of that. But it doesn't matter in this game. I presume the next sector opens that block there. Really annoying the way the skirting board kicks in like that. Ugh. Will two shelves fit in there exactly? No, of course they won't. Of course they won't. I wish you could get shelves. Do that though. That's okay. That's a bit frustrating. So that'll have to be the double fridge. Is it me, or is, like, the room just... <laughs> I kind of wish you could buy slightly different size shelving, because the... The room isn't quite wide enough to be useful. You know what I mean? Like, if this was a six-foot-wide shelf, I'd have a five-foot instead, because it would fit in that space nicely, but as it stands, I can't do that. It's slightly annoying. And then even when you take this, you can't put it next to it. You have to put it like there. Well, no, even if, even a fridge. Well, I could put two fridges there, yeah, but. I don't think they sell single shelves, do they? Like, all these shelves are double width. Why can't I buy a single width? Stick a fridge there. I think I might need more lights as well.
Okay, right. So then how do you want to lay these tills out? Could continue to do that. How do I make him stop working here and go and work on that till? Can I close that till? So if I close that till, will he just go there now? When I start the day? You think you just move them around? That's so weird. guess we do that instead. He's attached to that one. So the only way to get him off there is to fire him. Can I get beyond this? Just about. He's very fond of that one. He literally never leaves. He's like, he lives there now. Okay, now, my only concern is if you want to buy another license for more shelving. Actually, let's have a look at the next license. So the next license includes peanut butter, flour, olive oil, pasta, rice, and salt. They're all non-refrigerated items. dollars each. This is expensive. Even if we have one side each for them, we still need three shelves to make this work. For all six. I need three shelves, which is $600, and, f and for the license, I need $400. That's $1,000, and then I need to buy stock. It is pricey. Get the next one instead. What, this one? Orange juice, soda, soda, apple juice, milk, and soda. What, because that's all refrigerant stuff? You need two shelves for your current products. Not strictly speaking, no. But it acts as like a stock buffer. Interesting about six pack of milk. I wonder if that's a shelf item. Apple juice may go in. The, it depends if it's fresh or like pasteurized type stuff. Soda probably goes on a shelf. In fact, they're all shelf items, aren't they? six packages. So that's a shelf. That I don't know if they want to be refrigerated. It doesn't tell you. All juice is in the fridge. So orange and apple juice is in fridge. What about soda? Does soda go on a shelf or in a fridge? Right, so the six pack of milk is on the shelf and everything else is in a fridge. And how much was a fridge again? 200, 375 for the big ones. I think we change direction slightly here. 
in that case, I'm going to get that license. And I'm going to get... Two big fridges. 750. Six pack can go on something. I have to move some stuff on a shelf. Okay, so we've got OJ at 85. AJ at 85. Soda 50. Milk six pack at three seventy five. Blimey. Actually, hang on. It's Cola's fifty. Cola's fifty. Zap is sixty five. And Turco, whatever that is, is forty. Okay, that's well, a twenty four pack. So two big fridges, we're going to need two of them, two of them, two of them, probably need, there are only six in a box, blimey, probably two of them, probably need four of them, two of them. What else am I desperate for out here? Okay, the cereals can move over and we'll just put the six pack of milk there. Looks like milk is pretty bad. Have we got a cereal box? We can have back-to-back -back fridges like that. Or we can put a fridge against the wall. We can stick one there. That's probably better. Okay, right, Turco. Which looks like cheap, nasty cola. Hold my life, thank you for 84 months. You're finally getting better after almost three months on the mend. Dude. I'm glad to hear it. I kind of feel like this stuff is going to fly off the shelves. Bio juice. I'll put them there. I need to set the price on that. Well. Uh, no, I'll just leave me instructions. Eighty-one. We'll charge a straight three dollars for that. It's bio juice. It's gonna be good for you. Zap soda.
Why is Zap Soda way more expensive than cola? That's not how it usually works. Uh oh, that's a different kind of juice, isn't it? Three dollars, take your flavor. Okay, this is going to go over here. That's like a long life milk, I assume. Eleven twenty-five. Ooh, for six bottles. Man, that's pricey. Made with real cows. <laughs> That's insane. Oh, we got cheap nasty cola. I'm not really sure where to put that yet. Zap soda. Okay, so we've got two boxes of milk spare. Uh, liquids can go there. Kind of feel like a fridge short, but I guess we can just share it with this. Kind of wants a little fridge there, I think. Or even there. I think we need to buy another little fridge. Maybe some sugar. Sugar's still cheap, it's worth buying. That's seven. Cheese is expensive, milk never changes, coffee's still expensive, so is actually tea's not too bad. Flour's the other one that's cheap at the moment. We do have a bit of flour. Well, that's just broke the fridge. Sadly, I don't think the customers in this game will care if we put something on the bottom shelf. Would be cool, though.
Right, cola, 270. I think we're good to open at this point. Right, we just had a massive capex investment. We need to get some cash back now. I need to scan some items so I can unlock the next cashier, I think. Because I think keeping this going is going to be a full-time job. Really? There's one bag left? You buy that, mate. Thanks. You bought it yesterday, Chris. Nice. There's definitely a lot of grind to get through at the start, but we're starting to sort of accelerate a little bit now I think pasta's getting a bit low is that woman with the freaky hair again oh you can come back any day that's how we roll James Bond's coming over. The name's Bond. James Bond. And I'd like some long life milk and coffee, please. Do you know what? I wish they had like a cash only till and a card only till. I'd put him on the cash till. And I'll be on the card only till. <laughs> and then I wish they had a touch to pay thing as well. So they can just tap and pay. And then I want self service checkouts. <laughs> so you're making me do cash, love. What's going on? It's a lot of cola, my man. You want to watch your stomach with that. This is 006. Exact change only. Pays in cash, traceless. He's like a ghost, that guy. I don't mind for coming to me instead of Jeff. It means I can get through that checkout thing and hire a, um, a checkout staff. They all, they've all learned that he's slow. That's what it is. 
They're like, oh yeah, go to that guy there because he's quicker. She doesn't know. Mm, pasta's getting low. Pasta and that zap soda. Ken, what's with the cracker jokes? It's like a slightly weird place, aren't they? She likes the cheese. Whoa, this guy. What the? Pasta isn't on, needs to be on order. Pasta and coffee and zap and cheese. But I think I might wait till the morning. Not pasta. Any cheese. Coffee and zap. Put them in the basket and hope the prices drop overnight. Need long life milk. Cheese would do as well. Okay. Put them in there, then I'll remember. Oh no, she's bugged. Other end of the room, she's bugged. Unrecoverable error. We saw that guy do this. I can't quite get the item that's right in front of me. <laughs> Bot confirmed. Upgrade cost 1500 and we still only lost. So we made a grand profit, basically. Product found expensive. One. What? Eggs have come down. Sorry, eggs have gone up. Flour's gone up. Coffee's gone up. That's annoying. That is very annoying. Coffee's now getting very expensive. That's what, 750 Actually, it's only gone up a cent for us. Flower. It's gone from 60 to 72. Pasta's come down nicely. 115. Eggs have really gone up. Eight dollar shipping? I thought it was like four dollar shipping. Uh, 
hours if you've got like zero past the left. Labor cost breakdown. Hmm. Well, it costs, I think it was like $100 a day for that guy. What was the other one? Coffee, I think. Somebody's at my door. Okay, right, let's stop this stuff. Um, let me just see if I can hire a second checkout person. Hiring. Oh, I need to do one checkout. One more checkout I need to do. And then I'm allowed to hire somebody. Well, I need to have a shop level 20. So I still can't do it. Really? That's dirt, that is. How do you get a shop level 20? Just by getting bigger or by... Is it like more days that you your shop's open or profit? Or how does it measure it? Checkout is closed. <laughs> if it's closed, why is she here? It's bugged out again. It definitely bugged out. Okay, let's see. We definitely need eggs, water, Milk, pasta, like everything. Yeah, the milk was expired, that's why I binned it. Well, <laughs> I think we just have to accept that occasionally I'm going to bin products. Got a bit of a queue going there, isn't he? Let's give him a hand. Holy moly, dude! Hundred and twenty-four dollars. What? How much? <laughs> I never seen anybody hit a hundred. He just smashed it. He just bought the shop.
I think the bigger the store gets, the bigger the checkouts get now and again. Like when I first started, they were just buying one or two items. Right, bread is getting low. Coffee is gone. Coffee is completely gone. Tell him to turn the light on, can you? to help him again. I think he's getting a queue on. I've noticed later towards in the day, the, the queue just gets bigger. Oh wow, that was very polite of you. <laughs> Look at this guy, just like four bottles of cola. It's the only thing I drink. Wait, what do you mean you couldn't find coffee? It's on the shelf. Lies. Right, is she coming this way or should I just close this till? She's just going around buying everything. Oh, she's bugged. No, she's just indecisive. Couldn't find bio apple juice or something. I mean, you can't expect us to stock everything all the time. <laughs> You're not coming here, are you? You're going there. There's literally a massive queue and an empty tail, but you go there. That's fine. You enjoy yourself. Completely cleared us out of the bio juice. Look, it's just all gone. Both flavors, apple and orange, gone. tomorrow's purchase currently $147 oh we're almost out of zap as well nine products not found that's not good 
store point level plus 230. So at this rate, we're looking at eight days or something to get to level 20. Oil is up, apple juice is down. That's handy. Oil is up to 159. That is not the most expensive it's been, but not cheap either. Meanwhile, apple juice is down to 68, which is very cheap. That is indeed very cheap. It's just saved $11 on our shopping. What else do we need out there? Zap. Cut some product lines. You can't into deco. You get penalized if you don't stock things that you've got a license to sell. You get penalized. They start complaining. Oh, I couldn't find this. I couldn't find that. That's what happens. Basically, once you buy a license, it'll unlock seven item, uh, six items, and you have to sell those six items. Find OJ I can open up. What stock money? I have stock money. Uh, so <clears throat> basically, Jimbo, yes, you can employ somebody to move the stock from the stock room into this room, um, which is fine, except. Your stock room's actually quite small. This this keep, this bug keeps happening. This checkout is closed. I closed it yesterday, but on a new day it stays closed, but the sign disappears on a new day. So then you can't open it. You can't scan our items, and you have to then close it and reopen it. It's definitely a bug. If you if you close it the day before, it bugs out on the next day. Um, but as I was saying, you need a decent sized stock room, really. Because the idea then is you load up the stock room and that person carries it in. Which is nice. But to upgrade this, you need like expensive shelving, expensive upgrades. And it's always a case of, well, what do I spend my money on? This orange?
I really want a bigger stock room. No. No way do you want to play this, fair enough. Bio juice. Not enough room. I did go heavy on the juice because it was cheap. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, may have bought too much juice. But it was all at a good price, so we'll get good profit. Oh, that coal is nearly gone, look. second cashier right now. Stop running over my stuff, mate. <laughs> no, thankfully the boxes can't get run over. Yeah, let's be like uh, Aldi. Just put the stock out in crates on shelves. Uh-oh, we've run out of uh, long-life milk. I think we need cheese as well. He does scan items at a very steady pace, I agree. I think he's trying to get like six to a box of that now. What was that? The apple juice is expensive. The checkouts are what? Come on, Grumpy. Obviously, your time is important. Never mind people trying to do the job. There's like five people glitched down there. I do wonder if it's the placement of that stand. Or whether it's just because there was no um, milk and now there is. It seems odd that I ran out of milk and then four people are down there. It's just wasted income. Massively wasted income that is.
need flour. Oh my god. Flour, pasta, oil, everything. I can't keep... Like, this stock limit of 10 per order is just doing my not. I can't order after 9 o'clock. I can't order them more than 10 items at once. I mean, I, <laughs> I can't help these people at this point. They seem to be struggling around the milk. Come on, come this way. Your milk's over here. There it is, yeah, good, good, good. Right. Yeah, we're closed now, sorry. Wasted income right there. Alright, cheese down, juice up. Wait, what? Cheese is 171. That's the cheapest that has ever been. Soda's gone up. We just bought some of that. That's Zap Soda. Apple juice is up. 282. That's fine. And six pack of milk. We just bought a load of that and then they dropped the price. Thanks, game. 339. And a load of it didn't get sold because the game glitched. That is somewhat frustrating. It should have sold at the higher price. Uh, that's interesting. Um, what else was it? Cheese. I think that price has crashed. Cheese, milk, and what were the other things? Is it zap? And then something else. Is it juice that went down? Or well, this one? Not that one. I think it must have been that one. So it's getting very hard to restock these shelves quickly enough now. Can you not buy a trolley or something to help you move more than these items at a time? Wasn't that like a stock trolley or something? Or was that a storage trolley? I remember seeing it. Oh, it's a restocker. There's no item for it. Restock shelves. Daily wage 90. Required storage 1. Purchasing rack 1. Required storage level 15. So that requires me to put stuff on the shelf, doesn't it? If they don't... If it's not on the shelf, I don't think they'll take it. Like, you know, I've put boxes on the floor. I don't think they'll pick them up off the floor. I could be wrong. I'm going to hire one anyway. 
Also, I'm going to upgrade this thing. Storage room. Have a look at it now. Hello. That's a lot more useful. Oh. All right, Jeff. He's straight in there. What an awkward space. Everything's just an awkward size. Right, we need more shelving. Furniture, small rack. If I get enough racks and get everything onto the racks, Jeff will just move everything into position for me. So I'm going to get two of them. Oh, will he pick stuff off of the floor? This is my big question here. If I now put things here, will he move them or does it have to be on a shelf before he'll move them? He's going to shelving. Is that the wrong item? Small rack. Why is that the wrong item? It's this, isn't it? It's the rack. It is the right item. Oh, that's a rack, isn't it? That's not a shelf, that's a rack. A shelf is what you put in the store. Did I just order oil? I can't remember. Okay. So once we're on here, he'll move them, I think. Let's see what he's doing. Which means I only need to order stuff and move it into here, and I can then jump on the till. Because he'll bring it all through. Where is he? Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Game, please. Why is he stuck? No. <sighs> what is it he's got? Is it milk again? No, he's got flour or something. Right, I'm going to save it and then quit to menu. And then continue. And hope that that one glitches itself. I am beginning to wonder if it's the shelf placement.
Maybe it's because this is in front of it. Wait, where's he gone? And the good thing is, he won't throw an em uh, a non-empty box away. Like I will. <laughs> I'm going to open this place. Let's jump on the till. Yeah, I don't know if it's because the item changed, but the items on that shelf have not changed in quite a while. So you found they get stuck as well. So it's not just me. Kinda nice having him doing this running around. I just want to move that shelf, it's annoying me. Check your prices. Oh rip. What was it that changed again? Cheese. Milk. Apple juice. I don't think I just did it. All I've got to do is fill that stock room now. I wonder how he prioritises what he's going to do, though. Couldn't find cola soda. Wait, what? What's that? Oh, you mean that one. It's to order some cola soda. What's annoying is you can't see stock. It should show you your stock that's behind you on the shelf. Otherwise, it's all guesswork.
I need tea. That message came a bit late. Could do cola. Oh. I must have looked at this icon and then picked up the other one. So completely out of tea. Somebody put the light on. <laughs> Why do I have to put the light on? Why doesn't a staff member just walk past and flick the switch? It's ridiculous. I need another light in here. dark in that room. Is that a genuine card, sir? Was that your card? I don't think it was. stuff is this guy buying? Look at this. I like you. See, all the uh, the guys with the credit cards and the, the big bills are all coming here. Because they, they know a quick server when they see one. They look at him and they're like, nah. So look, men in black come over here. Express lane, exactly. Oh, who's going to win? Who's going to win? I reckon I've done more currency here in the last two minutes than he's done all day. Give me some default cola. Whoa, we lost money, but we spent 1200 on Shelvin. That's not too bad. Right, eight pack, sliced bread and eggs, eight pack are down in price. Well, that's quite a drop. Need to pay the bills. I think I forgot to pay the bills. Uh. 
There's always somebody that notices that you've not closed the till. Awkward. be able to back to back out on her. That is annoying. Another storage expansion is coming soon, you can feel it. Maybe. Trying to keep on top of the stock situation is mostly guesswork. Where's cheese? Well, not quite night train. Like stock will be checked in and out. Every now and again they have to do a stock taking just to make sure because stuff gets lost or stolen. But mostly they know what's in and what's low. I have nothing I can look at that tells me what I've got on the shelves. I don't think so, Lawson. We'll see. See where it goes. This is theft. What? I don't just, like if I made a mistake, why don't they just say you've shortchanged me, sort of walking out the store and saying it's theft? I'm reporting you to the police. You kept one cent of my money. I don't even think I did shortchange you. I thought I'd gave you the right money. But we'll never know. I feel like he's not keeping up with the stock situation. People are buying it quicker than he's actually putting it back. I know for a fact I bought flour. Enjoy your bio juice, sir. Well, 
Well, a nine, nine thing is toxic. At the end of the day, you can't order more stuff. Yeah, I can, I'm not allowed another stocker, I don't think. extraordinary like how slow that guy is I kind of feel like you should be able to train him or upgrade him or something he has terrible posture I think they are going to add shoplifting at some point, or at least, yeah, I don't know. I think it's on the on the list of things. People trying to nab stuff. It's 9 p.m. And how long does he carry on stocking for? Lots of cheese, cheese, cereal, milk. It's all looking pretty bad in here. Need a bigger stock room. I want a stock room where we've just got like a shelf for everything and then I can see one shelf for each item or at least one column for each item. So it's 1,200 just to expand this place. Then to expand it again, I need another 18. So it's like four grand just to make this place twice the size it is. If you end the day, the restocker just continues in the morning where he left off. So you can't get another restocker until you get a store level 22 and you can't get another cashier until you get store level 20 and i'm what halfway through 18 so it's a little while before we can get this i don't mind i think the flow at the moment for me is storage i think we need to grab that and put more lights in here Thanks. Oh, it's opened the door. Okay, that, that changes things slightly. Now we just need to go outside and get wet. That is dead space. That is so annoying. Like, what are you going to put there? Like, it'd be nice if that even fit, though, wouldn't it? I'm going to buy some lights for this place.
Okay, get some more shelves in, I think. Another one there, one there. Another one here. To make sure we have money for stock, though, first. We need lights, but we can have, we can wait. Why put that? Oh, God, it's just annoying. What if I put it here? Can he walk through that? Or will that block him? It blocked him. He's coming this way. <laughs> he couldn't get in. Okay, I'll go over here. And then we can put Shelv in there. Okay, 1600 at upgrades. And 473 profit. That's not terrible. So you're kind of in an awkward position now, aren't you, pal? Yeah, the stock is doing a decent job. We're going to have to buy some more stuff, though. Pretty much everything. Uh, what went up? Right, so coffee went down to 667. I need to adjust the price of coffee and adjust the price of milk. Oh, I don't like that. Pasta went up, apple juice went down. Pasta went up to 120. Well, I think we can open. We need the income. And then we'll get some shelves in a minute. Right now, we need to restock on milk. I think we need some more of that soda. I think cheese was pretty low. Why would that stack in there? Not the same. Interesting.
Yeah. By the time somebody gets to my tail, I'll be ready. Let's get the bills paid. Two more shells. Three more lights. They did it again. Next customer, please. <laughs> Yeah, they seriously need to add an option that lets you just, like, wave a customer over or something. I don't like where the tills are. I also kind of want the reverse till. Wait, what do you do with a till if you want to sell it? How do you get rid of it? Like, if I want to change the tills for the other ones, can I swap them around? Can I sell these? Or are you just stuck with them? Is that it? You just box it up. You can't do anything else. sell it. Oh, you can sell it. How do you sell it? I don't know, I'll tell you. Hmm. Do you, What the? Oh. <laughs> that was freaky. Well-lit stock room. Yeah, I'd, 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 I'd would agree with that, Delag. Like, if they... Once they go into auto-checkout, there's nothing you can do to stop them. Which is a simple way of coding it, but I think they can definitely improve that. I don't think adding like 10 light lights is going to make it lag. Can't find eggs. Okay, we have no eggs. Zap coal is low. Plant pot.
Lots of boxes of eggs. There he goes. It's weird how they stack the boxes. They stack them from front to back. Uh, Gustato, thank you for 22 months. Ervin, how are you doing? Thank you for 30 months. You just bought a supermarket sim, nice. the uh, checkout party but hey ho look how slow he is on that I'd have that rinsed by now oh my god it's painful to watch this guy I can't get a restocker till store level 22. And I can't get another cashier till store level 20. Genuinely, that is ridiculous. Well, they're not going to come here, are they? Plagiato, thank you for getting us up to Fadian. Welcome back. Try that. Coffee's getting low. I'll put some coffee in the uh, in the basket to remind me. Three hundred dollars. Still. Okay, sliced bread and cereal. Nothing went down in price. Uh, Aplagiato, thank you for giving to sub to Zeros and Hooch as well. Thank you. 
definitely need more coffee. Best thing before sliced bread. Uncut bread. Just bread in general. doing I like it near the door we can keep our eye on people like yeah I'm watching you guys right we need to get some cash back in now really it's to stop upgrading things and just get cash. Uh, the bills get paid automatically and they kind of roll up anyway. Um, the loan, however... If you don't pay the loan manually, if you forget, you take a fee. Oh, I like you. That's a nice purchase, that is. Exact change? Amazing. What are you going that way for? The way he just throws things on the shelf. Brilliant. I think we need some more sugar and some more flour. Possibly some milk. They need to ditch this 10 item limit. Oh my god. Express tell is open. Uh, shoplifting is currently not a thing, though. No. Just some bread with your barker card. Okay, bro. They use cash, they walk behind you. Is that the pattern? There might be. So he went that way. He's paying with a card as well. I'm going to look for that now. Okay. 
a lot of very well-dressed people in this town. Okay, she's paying in cash. Let's see which way she goes. There she goes. She went that way. Interesting. But then he paid with the card and went that way. So maybe it's just random. There's a mod you can put on that will est uh, eliminate the 10 item order limit. As well as an update computer screen that tells you your item count is on the floor. Oh wow, that's a nice mod. Removing the 10 limit item sounds like a mod I need. It's a frustrating limit. Are they all in the Steam Workshop? They're on Nexus, all right. You gotta avoid Nexus mods. <laughs> Do you want some cereal, bro? There's an update of mod that will update the prices of items every morning. Blimey. I kind of feel like price setting should be something you do. But anything that shows stock inventory, that kind of thing, or removes that... Oh, we run out of cheese, apparently. Or removes that dumb limit. Sound's gone. Don't think so. That process should be doable from computer rather than item by shelves. Irritating. I mean, you do actually have to go to the label, change the labels in real life, don't you? I don't really mind setting the prices every morning. I'm not that bothered about that. There's other faff things you have to do. Uh, 1,139 profit. ka -ching. Woo! Black tea's gone up. Let's get that order in. Definitely sauce. Uh, cereal, pasta. Lots of stuff, a bit low. The real tedium is here. Just taking that into the one by one. No trolley you can buy. You can buy.
Let's open it now, we've got stuff. It should be on a pallet or something really, but equally you should be able to bring it down here with a trolley. Sugar. Maybe some water. I don't know. I think it's because it's a one-man developer and he's managed to find an audio file for a diesel engine and put it on every vehicle. <laughs> I think that's it. What is interesting is the approach he took, like with most games like this, like Consim or whatever, if you run out into the road, the vehicles just stop dead. In this game, they just push you off the map. <laughs> like pedestrians, whatever, get off the road. Like most games, this guy will just stop. But Diesel Ferrari boys, just like, I don't care. Yeah, those roads are just a weird design altogether. Jeez. What's a hundred dollars worth of stuff and paid a hundred and fifty dollars in cash? We're almost level 20 on the store, which means I can hire a second cashier soon. Bread, sugar, we're missing stuff on the floor there. What's that we're missing there? I thought we had milk. Exactly. Empty shelves is money out the window, isn't it? I 
I don't understand what the dev was thinking when he limits your delivery to 10 items. Like, because your supermarket scales, how is that ever going to work? Ordering 10 things at a time. Like, the rate that people are buying stuff now. What was he complaining about? My coffee's nearly gone. Hey, caramba. Or bigger boxes. Yeah, just like pallet sized stuff. can make multiple purchases, but you still have the problem of having to move it one box at a time. But it just seems like a silly arbitrary limit. He reacted quick, didn't he? more people to pay with card this is ridiculous Possibly cheese and eggs. Display shelf, fridge, freezer, or crate. Edible drink or cleaning. Cleaning? Cleaning? We are level 20. Maybe I should just order 10 of a thing at a time. <laughs> just order 10 oil, stack it. Order 10 sugar, stack it. Six hundred that time. Coffee, cheese, and pasta's gone up. Scumbag.
There you go. Because that's that's how deliveries work, right there. Yeah, it doesn't matter. If I put the cheese back, it'll still... If I find some cheese, I'll refix it. If you actually got time to sort of plan and think in between the chaos, you'd like, you'd want to organize this better. There's a mod that stacks deliveries. It's funny how people have made mods for things that should be in the base game. There is no time limit, but frankly, I don't feel like I have the space to organize this. And I hate the labeling system. Like, if I stand here, it's so difficult to work out what's on what shelf. I literally have to go up to it and be like, what's that icon? But then if I move my mouse, it's hard to see the icons because everything's covered in green. I, like I say, I think the best solution would be to put that label right there on the box. Cashier number two, please. <laughs> Let's see how slow two cashiers can work. <laughs> what do you reckon the grind so far? Um, there's things that need to change in this game. But it is early access, so it is what it is, right? It is fun. This bit here starts to get a bit weird. Moving boxes one at a time feels a bit odd. I need to dream up a system. Like, I need to have, like, bottle fizzy drinks over here. Dry foods over there or something. Then at least I'm going to the right shelf. I feel like once restock is not enough. I don't feel like he's coping at all. What's that supposed to be? What the heck? That looked like it was empty. I think I threw one of those away earlier. I bet that was full of water as well.
You had your pen and paper when you was playing this game. You could definitely spreadsheet it. See, the rate that customers are pulling things off the shelves, there's no way that guy is restocking quickly enough. I would rather have had a second restocker than a second cashier, because I could have stood here and done that. But two restockers is needed, even at this level. Yeah, I can help him, it's just an observation. Like, the restock is locked behind another two levels, which is a bit weird. And he never runs. He never runs anywhere at all. Dried milk is of the order, assuming that's dried milk. Like powdered milk? Also, I think the restocker should also get things from here as well. He shouldn't limit himself to the stock room. Like, he should know that deliveries are here. It's imported milk. That's what it is. Let's have a look around. Oil, probably. Cereal. I think the the juice I needs filling up a bit. Keep insisting on walking around here. It's actually annoying me.
Right, um, guys, I can't actually do anything apart from restock. I'm just going to make a drink. Be right back. Well, at least it gets a chance to restock. <laughs> I'm back. Let's have a quick look around here, because uh, this should give us an idea of how badly stocked we are. He's still going, this guy. Now, I think we don't have any coffee left, otherwise he'd stack it, wouldn't he? That's tea. Yeah, I don't think we've got any coffee. It's apple juice, isn't it? We've got apple juice. Nope. Definitely no coffee. I 
Almost a grand. Not bad, not bad. Tea, pasta, milk and apple juice. Which milk was it? Uh, food from, thank you for 95 months, sir. Twitch cancelled my sub, so I had to resub and continue on my way to 100. I can't believe they did that, bro, honestly. It benefits nobody. Let's open the store. It seems our API code is dodgy. People get unfollowed too. Well, that was a problem from years ago. I don't know if it still is a problem. I don't think I've been unfollowed from anybody for a long time. But I've certainly, in terms of subs being cancelled, it has happened to me, but it happened when they... For example, added VAT and things like that into the mix. They deliberately seem to cancel things so that you are forced to take a subscription up with VAT because of a policy change. But in the in case of Vrome, you know, he just had his sub cancelled for no reason at all. Like nothing changed. It just got cancelled. It's super weird. Sarah Billy. I keep thinking that says bin juice, not bio juice. <laughs> this game is depressing. I only watch for 10 seconds. See you later. <laughs> What? Oh, this is coffee, isn't it? The other way you could do it, perhaps, is by a box size. Like these kind of boxes you could put all on one shelf. Man, that coffee keeps disappearing. I keep putting a box of coffee there and it keeps disappearing. The sound of cashier makes me think I'm in hospital. Lol. <laughs> what would... I didn't know hospitals had, like, cashiers in every ward. 
People just buying stuff. Yeah, I know what he means, says Sanator, but what about that? When do you hear that in the hospital ward? <laughs> Well, I'm a little bit better stocked now. I'm probably pastors on the gender. Oh, milk. Pasta and milk. Only buy press surgery. Kaching. Deep beep. <laughs> uh, Kelvin, thank you for twenty months, sir. is full now. It's looking better. That's how it should be. Trying to work out what I want next. Do I want a bigger stock room or a bigger store? Depends if I want to sell more products. If you upgrade the stock room. Then we can get shelves. Then we can get a license. But then we need to upgrade the store to put the shelves in. Oh, I 100% agree. We need a second restocker. That's locked behind level 22. It's 1300 for the supermarket, 1800 for the storeroom. That's hidden behind level 22. Look at this, we can sell bleach. Cleaner, dishwasher tablets, hand soap, shampoo, and toilet paper. No, not two more levels. One and a bit. Look at this. Moussaka, salmon... Scallop gratin, steak, sushi large and small, veal chop. This is mad. Oh, you can get beer, level 30. Six pack of Blondale, a keg of Blondale. Look at this. Chips, hummus, vodka, and beer lager. Amazing. What an amazing level. <laughs>
Wow, 300 profit. That's terrible. We did buy a lot of stock, though. Actually, it looks like it gives you three days to pay the bill, so I assume after three days you get a fine. Oh, fluff, honestly, kegs are really heavy when they're full. That's a tough job. That's why they used to, like, roll them. Like in the UK, they used to roll them off the back of a truck. And then they'd be like, if this was the, the beer place, there'd be like a thing here. And you just pop it open, and then they just roll the barrels down into the basement, hook them up, pull the empty ones up, job done. Nobody lifted them, they were just too heavy. Don't pay the bills as a fine, however, it will be automatic automatically added when your day ends. I'll even so continue focusing on the store. Yeah, but are you just paying like a fine on top of your bill then? Like, will it just pay the bill or will it fine you for not paying the bill? In the UK, there's rules against that, Fluffenstein. About how much weight you can be made to carry. And you have to go on a health and safety course. So that you can carry weights without injuring your back. It's true. Looks to you there's no fine. Interesting. Not a heavy lifting course. It's basically like a, a course so that... If you do a job that requires manual labor where you're going to be lifting things, then they have to put you on a training course so that you learn how to lift things without injuring your back. Because if they don't put you on the course, then the employer's liable if you injure yourself. If they do put you on the course and you injure your back, you're liable, you don't get paid if you injure your back. It's that simple. It's all about who can we blame. Were you trained? And if you was trained and then you lifted something and injured yourself, then it's your fault. Exactly. Keep your back straight. We lift for your legs, all that kind of thing. I think it's called a manual handling course. You might be right.
the UK, the safe weight for men is 25k. That is insane because the army regularly has a backpack with 40 on it. <laughs> that makes no sense. Let me put the lights on for you and the customers. Can somebody buy some milk and then I can empty this one? Oh, there's four in there. Come back. Yeah, the well, yeah, I agree. The melt one is terrible. You could easily lose four. <clears throat> easily lose four out of there. You don't need to Google search for 25 kilograms. Just multiply. You can multiply by roughly two, but it's about 2.2. .2. But a rule of thumb. Pounds to kilograms, halve it. Kilograms to pounds, double it. But it is rough, because it's 2.2, .2, not two times. Guy looks like Arnie. When I was making a drink, I saw some cake. <laughs> but I love that. Shame we can't start working hours. Mm. Well, you can in, um, what's that other one I play? The Tycoon one. Yeah. Big ambitions. You can have like 24 hour stores if you can find enough staff to run the shifts. Full day night cycle is planned. I think you'll you'll probably need to maintain morale of staff and training of staff and probably have them work different shifts and things.
We are almost store level 22. Oh, I agree, Slane. Like, the fact that you can get one developer doing something like this is pretty cool. The city building for next week if you wanted of life and land. What it's called of life and land. I'm waiting for Manor Lords. Manor Lords comes out in a few weeks. What's it called? Of Life and Land. He's on Steam. Let's have a look. Of Life and Land, there it is. Comes out on the 2nd of April. A charming settlement building strategy game with a rich simulation experience. Every animal and plant tries to find their place in nature while you lead your villagers to their future. Have you seen Mana Lords dance on the tour? How do you spell it? Mana, M A N O R, Lord. As soon as that comes out, I'm playing it. I've got a fear, and it comes out on my birthday, <laughs> which is like 26th of April. So I'll probably play it the on the weekend. Like it lets you put things down without any restrictions. There's YouTube videos. Um, that they've done. It's such a fun looking game. Uh, where did I put the oil? Uh. Oh, Captain Flint, trust me. The amount of times games have come out when I'm either not in, committed to something else, like, <laughs> can't play it because, or generally speaking, games will release midweek, which is a bit annoying as well. Like, they don't release games on Fridays and things.
Is that how they buy tea in the States in little tins like that? Can't wait to see how you handle Montana shelves and dirty products. Dude, I'm going to organise myself as soon as the room's big enough. At the moment, as fast as I'm putting things in here, it's flying off the shelves, so there's really no benefit. bags are in boxes. Interesting. Dude! Came filling this up and I was just filling it up. Fancy brands have metal tins. Yeah. I don't see the point of it. Like, unless it's... Yeah, I just don't see the point of it, because what are you going to do with the metal tin afterwards? Throw it away. Generic cola. Tastes like a cola bottle. Some people will reuse the tin. Like, you can reuse the tin for other things, put things in it, but most people just bin it. Because if every time you're buying tea, you're getting a free tin, <laughs> you, know, you have a lot of tins. Mutimus, thank you, 15. If it's just in a cardboard box, you can just flatten it down and put it in the recycling. Might be time to splash out. Right, 1800 for bigger storage. Should open up that sector. Whoosh. I actually got to see it come down then. Gonna need more lights. Hey, Some games.
I'm sure organise you only have to purchase three to five products per day. Its stockers will keep the shelves full. Slowly getting though. Minus nine forty because I upgraded for eighteen hundred. Oil is down, soda is up. Which soda in particular? I need some kind of like storage strategy, don't I? I could do like dry foods down one aisle, liquids down another or something. I'll need it later when I start getting to things like cleaning products. We're almost level 22. I can almost hire a second doodad. So check out counter mirrored. I wonder if that would help us. If the checkout counter was mirrored, then your scanning end would be here and the end would be there, which means your queue would be this way. So you can put that right against the wall because as soon as they've checked out they'll just turn around and walk out and the queue can go that way yeah, I think it would actually help to have mirrored same with that one uh, well the UK used to have metal bins years and years ago I'm going to try mirrored. And then hope we can sell the other ones. Yeah, there's no self service checkouts, I'm afraid. All right, now the question is how do I. Get the guy. From that till to this till. How do I close this till? Open checkout. Close checkout. Carry. Like I literally want to move that guy to here. How do you do it? Do I have to fire him? How do I box it up? There's no option to box it up. When you carry, there's an option to box it. Oh, right, okay. Let's see. Uh, place it there. Oh, he's gone here now. Ah, oh, cool. Let's put that on the side of this thing. So I'll put him like that. It definitely seems better. Oh, 
juego. Suddenly a lot more roomy in here. Now with this one, hold to sell. Press F. 250. So you only get half the money back. That is daylight robbery. That's worse than Warcraft. What do you mean he's stuck in there? He literally never leaves. He doesn't go anywhere. Out in a minute. I think that just makes a lot more room in here. Oh, I can get two thingies. Hang on. Management. Pay the bill. Hire. Second restocker. Let's go. That's going to help massively. I think he works quicker as well. <laughs> All right, let's see. Bread. We've got down here bread. Let's have bread and cereals over here. Annoyingly, I can't click on that. A bit fiddly. And he could lie him to a grid. Hmm. I'd settle for being able to pick them up without being right underneath. Right, so we've got milk. I don't want milk. Liquids need to go somewhere else. Red. Let's 
So we've got bread down there. There's some liquids going on over here. Sugar. It's getting busy now. <laughs> I feel like there's me and this other guy and then this other guy and we're all getting each other's way now. Okay, fizzy pops are all over here. Sugar. Cola. It's not orange. Eggs, you don't belong there. Uh, I'm not really sure where we put eggs yet. Put them there for now. Eggs and milk, maybe. Cereal can go here. Seem to have a lot of cola. Which was oil, you say? This one. Yeah, it doesn't have to be drinkable, it just has to be a liquid. Cereals there. At least if I've got liquids over here, that's a good start. All my dry stuff can be down here. Eggs. You sure what I want to do with eggs, to be honest? Guess they warrant their own area. In juice. Oh, we're out of stock. Dried milk. Dried milk and pasta. And cheese is looking bad. $93 profit. Sugar, soda, and bottled water. Right, I need cheese, we need dried milk, bin juice. Showed five products, not found, yeah. Well, this is one of them. That orange there. That milk. What else was there? Cheese. If only I could say to these guys, can you just help me to move this stuff into the storeroom? <laughs> but no. 
Right, eggs and dried milk go there. Uh, bin juice can go up there. Cheese and eggs, we can go here, I guess. Cheese, eggs and milk. Got enough room for all this. I may need separate shelving for the drinks because we actually have a lot of drinks. Interviewed a guy yesterday, said he was looking for a sed sedentary job in a warehouse. Boy, he actually said that. <laughs> My first question would have been, could you explain... Can you just describe to me how that... How you see yourself in the job? What is it you're doing exactly? Followed by, and why do you think I should pay you to do that? shelving Oh, are you kidding me? <sighs> you actually kidding me? That has got to be a pixel away. What about space? Oh my god, that's frustrating. <laughs> that is actually frustrating. Because I think these were lined up at the limit. Maybe 26 months boy end.
Right then, we're going to change this slightly. I think the healthy drinks might have to come over here. Juices. Where's the apple juice that is? I think the milk will as well. That's turco, that's cola. What happened to that? Has that apple juice just disappeared? Uh, flowers gone. Flowers gone, pasta's gone. Move the label, stop restockers putting boxes back in places you don't want them. Wait, is that what they do? What the heck? Why would they do that? Oh, you mean, ah, I see what you mean. You mean the empty ones. I see what you're saying. Gotcha. Like that, for example. Oh, you are doing my nothing. I'm just going to punch you in a minute. Flippin' X. Stop it, bro. <laughs> Cola. Milk. Let me quickly get some stuff on the shelf here. No, I don't want bin juice. I want pasta. I tell you what, it's annoying when you want to just drop something, it won't let you. It's like, you can't drop things. You have to carefully place it somewhere. Now, where do you want to place it? No, you can't place it there. That box isn't... No, it's green. Now you can place it there. Flower, what needs to go... Oh, I bet he's messed this up as well, isn't he? Oh, boy. Get rid of these labels quick. Eggs is... Yep. No. No. No, no. It's basically a race now, isn't it? Eggs went around here. There. Cereal can go there. Tea and coffee can come over here. Is that cheese? Actually, serious.
Oh my god. Right, is that milk? Milk, milk, milk. Milk is a liquid, goes over. Yikes, what do beside milk goes here? That's sugar. Bread definitely went here. is harder to set up than it should be. <laughs> like milk's there. Where did I just put milk? There we go. We've got no coffee. Six pack of milk is down, sliced bread is up. That is a big drop. That is a huge drop. Right, apple bin juice goes there. Pasta is dried food, so that's going to come down here somewhere. It's also dried. Yeah, I need to order a lot of products, but you know, we'll get though. We won't we don't need to open until we've got this sorted. Flour goes next to bread. There you go, that's how you label a column right there. <laughs> that's how you get what you want, isn't it? So if you want tea, just do that. Cereal. Don't think I want oil though, if I'm honest. Thing is, I've got other types of soda to put in here as well. Hmm. Let's get these dealt with. Well, uh... Remove the oil label from where, uh, sorry. Over here. Thank you. Why should I play Momba Zoo again, Chris? Water. Interesting. How many types of... We have cola. Zap and turco. Cola, zap, turco and water. Zap can go there. Okay, uh, so now we need some Zap Cola, whatever it is, Zap Soda. Look, it even lets you go to 11, even though it only lets you go to 10. That makes no sense. I 
Which I don't think I want 10. Yeah, we're going to sort all the coffee and stuff out in a minute. I want a little sack barrow so I can move things properly. Once we've got the stock control sorted, we can actually figure out what we need to order, right? That's the theory. So that's why I didn't order so many. Oh yeah, yeah. Not obviously when we get into nuts and stuff, allergens will be stored somewhere else. Yeah, we're definitely going to be uh, compliant on that score. Also, I don't need to store. Quite so many because these boxes are small, aren't they? They're like half size boxes, the oil. And so are the sorts of cheese and the eggs, I think. I think cheese can probably go like that. With eggs there. Okay, so from this, I can see. Got to move a box in front of that stock or he's stuck. No, I think he just has nothing to do. I think he's got nothing to do. So from that, I can see that we need to order another one, two, three, four, four boxes of milk. We need one box of oil. Uh, we have no eggs, so I think we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, as many eggs as we can find, I think. Try that. We'll find out now when I put the eggs down. He should, in theory, move, shouldn't he? Hmm. That's weird. I guess it's. We must be full, but the shelf is empty. Well, how do we unstick him then? Guess I'm gonna to have to save and reload to fix that. Any difference? He's not stuck on the box. I think he's glitched. No, I don't want to open Biff. The reason I don't want to open Rip. 
is because we're missing stock. I want to sort this stock situation out before we completely open. Okay, so what we do is we save, go to main menu, and continue, and then he's fixed. Right, cheese. Cheese is in a small box. One, two, three. Six down there, so we can order at least ten cheese. Well, if I have cheese, where's the, why is there no cheese here? Where's the cheese then? Oh, we moved it up there, didn't I? Rip! I've got too much cheese now. That's what you get for leaving a label. Anyway, you can never have too much cheese. Apart from now, I've got nowhere to put it. Uh, leave it by the door. Surplus cheese by the door, please. Okay, milk. Um, I don't know how big the boxes are. Milk, dried milk. Given that we've probably empty, let's go with eight. We can get an orange and an apple in there. A safe game. Yeah, they're not moving, which means the shelves are full. Okay, full stack, full stack. That's full effectively. We have an entire column here that's available for something. Uh, that is Turco Cola. We need one, two, three, four Turco Cola. That is cereal one two three boxes of cereal and then crikey tea one two three four five it's like eight tea but we can't get eight So we'll do that and then get three T and get another five T. Then we've got pasta. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And to get five for now.
Not sure how useful it is seeing the number on the front there. See these little boxes, right? These little ones here. You should be able to carry like two or three or four of them. Like four of them is the size of one of the bigger boxes. Can't remember how big the coffee boxes are. This is a bit of a faff to set up, but once it's done, it should make life a bit easier. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. We'll just stack coffee the same way. Don't think I have any coffee, so I can assume that's going to be 12. Did you just select T? What do you mean? I was just making sure. See, you're awake. Congratulations. Well done. You you passed the test. I knew I could count on you. So we're going to need more coffee because he's basically taking the slot through. Exactly, you got to test chat's paying attention. It's exactly it. Hannah gets it. It's a streamer trick, you know? It's subtle. Most people would be forgiven for thinking I just made a genuine mistake. An error, if you will. But the smart people know. It's actually just me testing you. Right, coffee. I gotta let him finish stacking that coffee. I might put sugar here. I'll tell you what we do need. Sugar. We need another Four coffee. No, hang on. One, two, another six coffee. Where's sugar? There it is. I genuinely think these restockers should help you to haul stuff. Basically, at the end of this, we'll have an organized storeroom and no cash. Because it'll all be tied up in stock.
Interesting, that's one box per shelf. Oh no, it's two. That means another four sugar required. Uh, let's see what else we've got. Pasta, is that? Need one more pasta, I think. Flower. Where does flower go? Okay, we have no flower. Okay, we'll just top up on flower then. Got 1,500 left. All the money's almost gone. This is dark times. Uh, no, pasta is like sheep. It doesn't have a plural. It's just pasta. One pasta, two pasta. <laughs> Three pasty. <laughs> No, pasties are a completely different thing. At least in England. Although, in, in Italian, you can have antipasti, can't you? Basically like a starter. Dude, get out of my way. I've got a job to do. Move, move! Well, that flower disappeared, didn't it? So there's still one more, one more pasta there. We have one, two, th well, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six flower. I don't want to open the store, mate, until I've got it all boxed off. What I'm looking for is full shelves in here and in there. That's my baseline. After that, I could just monitor what happens to the warehouse. And as I see, I can count boxes here and reorder based on what I see. It's more bread as well. That's, that's the main plan here. The grand reopening, yeah, exactly. I don't know why cheese doesn't refill. I was wondering the same thing. Because I definitely have cheese down here. If I can remember where the cheese goes. There it is. Definitely got cheese. So quite why they've not topped it up, I don't know. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight boxes of bread. And then I think. Where's bread? I think we're done. We could order one box of eggs.
Lots of bread. It's long life bread. No worries, Beth. I think we're there, you know. Woo! That. It's like a bit of effort. <laughs> but now we actually have an organized system. Of cereals, teas and coffees. Pasta. Down here we have uh, sugar and flour we have lots of bread there over here we have the different sodas and water all the bottled products there down here we have various fruits milk and oil and then finally behind us we have cheese and eggs and powdered milk which i may just move there because Kind of bunch it up a bit. That's it. And a stocked shop. Lights on. Let's go to work, people. We need to get some money back. In theory, I could just kick back now. Let the cashiers do their thing, let the restockers do their thing. I go down the beach, and at the end of the evening, I come back and just restock the shelves. That's a lovely sounding diesel. Whoa, he's in there restocking already, blimey. Look at that, they're like sentient bots. They don't even need to watch people. They just go, I need to do sugar, and they walk away and get sugar. Did I just see you break something then, pal? You better pay for that. You can't get out of town, Dad's on a tour. It goes in a square like that. Jedi stalkers is over there. Wow, three lots of coffee and some water. <laughs> okay. I love how unnaturally they hand over their credit card. It's almost like they get the show in their ID. They just go like that. Eggs, Diet Coke, and sugar. Blimey. Trouble is, if they start pulling from the back, this is going to be really annoying to try and work out what's going on. You wait to see the figures at the end of today. I'm going to be on such a massive negative loss. They don't all walk like that egregious. Like, this one's not walking like that. She's walking in a confident manner, a bit like this guy. Oh, I might. You want some, eh? You want some? Hmm? 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 Looks like pops. <laughs> <laughs> now, 
No, this is more like puffs. All right, mate, you want some? All right, mister. Hey, you think you're big? You think you can take me on? Hey, hey, hey. Are you too, too big for me, sir? <laughs> All right, no pups. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Might move the pasta there. do that quicker to restock is it published by stay away um have a look Supermarket Sim store page. No, it's developed and published by Nocta Games. Yeah, I don't get what's going on with this cheese. Like, seriously. Is it because there's some on the floor here? They're getting confused. Because they're not restocking that, are they? What is he doing? Oh, he's stuck. I reckon he's been assigned to cheese and he's confused. He's definitely stuck. He's bugged out. Sadly, it does happen, and there's nothing you can do but save and reload. That box is really interesting. I like the writing on the side of that box. Cash is going up nicely. I feel bad for this guy, like he's doing all the work while this guy's being paid to do nothing. Maybe previously I needed one stalker. Well, the problem with having one stalker is if that one stalker bugs out, <laughs> they cost $100 a day. It's not the end of the world. We make a hundred dollars in like 15 minutes. This, this hair is freaky, man. What is going on with that? Like active LED hair. That's very true, Hannah. Why do they go to that queue when there's... It just makes no sense. They should behave like people do, where they just go to the shortest queue. This guy is very smartly dressed, like waistcoat, white waistcoat, black tie. Super posh.
I can see that we need uh, two lots of dried milk straight away. What else do we need? We need coffee. And one more box of coffee up there. Box of coffee, we need two cereal. And then pasta. Three boxes of pasta at least. Case of what? Is that one or two milk? Two milk. To be honest, considering how much stock we bought, that is not terrible. Oil, eggs, and apple juice. Wow, just drop the box on the floor, like you do. I'm so glad it kept everything in the basket in between the reload. Oh, we just open straight away, can't we? Open straight away, confident in the fact that we have all the stock. See that, Chris? It's bugged. So we're going to need some more uh, juice. not going to put a partial box back on the shelf they do do that it's fine to do that like if they if they can't empty the whole box on the shelf they'll put the rest back yeah i don't know maybe we'll have to see how much pasta goes but right now i've got too much of it It's like cheese. I've got too much cheese and it doesn't really... It's not selling that quickly. Yeah, 
yeah, Vrom, I've got a feeling they may be doing that. Like, they should go for the partial empty box. You're right. A lot of sugar gone from there. You can end up with one, lots of boxers one a minute. That's ridiculous. What kind of stock guy is that? I tell you what, considering that sugar, that is a big box. A kilogram of sugar. Like, yikes. I don't feel like they're restocking that. Would you sell more cheese if it's cheaper? Well, it's it's a fair price. Let's drop it to three eighty and see what happens. As if somebody's setting fireworks off. That's the thing, right now, you don't really get any complaints or any feedback, apart from when you've got a missing item. They don't say, oh, that's a little bit expensive. Like, if it's rampantly over the price, they'll complain. But other than that, we've no idea what they're thinking. Whoa, that dried milk's gone. Four of them. Two waters. Wait, has he just brought one? You little scumbag. You have an extra water box on the floor. Yeah, I have another one now. Definitely wants an apple juice. He wants uh, two cola. One of the other one. One turco, two cola. Two cereal. Three coffee. Why can't I put this down? I literally can't put this down. That is so bugged.
If I pick this up, normally I can put it down, but I can't put it down. Can't do anything with it. Yeah, I beat you to it, pal. Don't you dare put that... Go away. It's nice having a little stock system that's working. And we've got room. We know we have room for stuff now. We can physically see it. So when we go for another license and an expansion, like open that wing up, get some more shelving, and then go for the next license. I might go for cleaning products just to make it different. Rather than more food. I'd love to do the lager one, but I don't think we can do it yet. Licenses. Yeah, level 30 store. Yeah, I quite fancy this. Bleach, cleaner, hand soap, shampoo. Sounds fun. Sugar is bugged. Hmm. Do you think it's because of where that is, the proximity of it? It seems odd that they won't restock that. It kind of feels like it's something to do with this. Let's try that. Six pack of milk down, orange juice up. I think we need at least four sugar. No, I'm just going to stock this up. See if the sugar's working. What's that flower? Blimey. One, two, three, four, five flower at least. I wish you could upgrade the door and make it wider, because, like, <laughs> zigzagging your way through this tiny door is frustrating.
Slime, we still need sugar. Sugar, bread. I need four bread. I need two sugar. Another one of those <clears throat> turco bottles. Uh, a milk. Three oil. I only do two. Yeah, so the timer only starts when you open the store, basically. So it basically gives you time to sort things out. <laughs> In theory, the shelves are full because the workers have stopped. Or because the workers have bugged out. Oh, did I order the wrong one? Thought we needed that one. Oh, it's a green one I needed. Dang it. Thanks. I thought I ordered three oil. Oh no, I couldn't order enough, could I? Right. Okay, that's good. Right, I'm happy with where that's at right there. But it is eight o'clock, so I am going to stop. Because I've been doing eight hours. <laughs> right, I should be back tomorrow, guys. Um, so tomorrow I need to knock out this wall, move these shelves out, grab a new license and continue but yeah I, I'm much happier where this is at now it feels a lot more organized a lot less chaotic you've been robbed of two minutes well I'll tell you what guys I thought there goes one of them it's 1959 let's chat for a minute guys you got you come on you got 55 seconds go You've already wasted 15 of them, Dietonator. <laughs> What's for dinner? Um, Mr. Squirrel left me a note. It's some kind of salad and something I have to microwave, but I'm not exactly sure. Kitchen roll is a nightmare, why? Given there's no break, technically we had an hour more than we usually got. He's not wrong. But not right either. Actually, how long have we been? No, I've been live nine hours, Dyson at all. You're arguing about two minutes and I've given you an extra hour. That's outrageous, mate. Outrageous. I will say one thing. The clocks go forward in Europe tonight. Do not forget to put your clock forward one hour if you live in Europe. And if you live in the States, be aware that instead of having a four hour gap, you'll go back to five hour gap. So I think it means if you don't do it correctly, you might miss an hour of the stream tomorrow. So yes, you lose an hour of sleep tonight. Anyway, have a good evening, guys. And I shall see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Have fun. Stay safe. Take it easy. Love you all. Good night.